God damn it, my microphone was muted. Oops. <laughs> All right. We're here. We're doing Sly Cooper. It's been like how many days since I last stream? Fucking, what, like four? Something like that. So, you may be wondering, why the hell are we playing Sly Cooper tonight? Why aren't we doing Conception? Why aren't we doing a uh, fucking Corpse Party, all that bullshit, right? Well, i am be honest. I've been having a real shitty week. I'm not gonna lie. I've been uh, dealing with a bunch of annoying shit. And I just needed to sit down, put a game in, that makes me feel good, right? And what more to do that than Sly Cooper? Also, I believe it was, what, last September or something, maybe even earlier, where I did like a 100% playthrough on Sly 1, Devious Raccoonus. So, I want to come and play my favorite Sly game, Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Why is it my favorite? Because it just is, and I love it. <laughs> my week's been dog water too. Hey, Lonely, how's it going? Oh, fuck, I'm hitting my microphone. Damn it. Also, if my microphone sounds a little bit different, I'm not using a pop filter. Because my pop filter is just being on some shit right now. I don't know why it just decides not to, like, stay put anymore. So, that sucks. But Sly Cooper. And right off the bat, I want to say I love how I have the DualShock 3 in my hand right now. Because unlike the DualShock 4 or the Xbox Elite or the Xbox One X controller or the Switch or the fucking DualSense PS5 controller, the thumbsticks aren't dog shit. I've had this goddamn controller since like two years after I had my PS3 and it still works. Last time I turned on my PS3 was like December. And when I turned this on, it still had two out of three bars on battery. This thing's hold the charge like a motherfucker, I swear. This is such a good controller, just, you know what, just give me the haptic feedbacks on the trigger from the DualSense. And then get rid of that fucking touchpad, cause it's irrelevant. And just slap that on the DualShock 3 and damn, you got the world's best fucking controller right there. I love this damn thing. It's amazing. Also, give it a gyro control, because nobody likes it. It's terrible. Skyward Sword proved that to be fucking horrendous. Now, select button. Let's see. New game. How loud is the game? Is the game quiet? Let me, let me put that up. I hear you, Blizzard. Read you loud and clear, lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, <laughs> your status? Bentley on his toes. That's gonna... Oh, that's not gonna hold over. In the basement, <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I can that... That aged poorly. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. So, Sly 2 has started off just like Sly 1, off the main menu, looking nice and good. You may notice some some upgrades here and there off the bat. For the first part, Sly doesn't look like complete, utter dog shit. He actually looks cool this time. He doesn't look like a fucking walking, talking Muppet. Next, the controls are a little different. Like, I believe in, uh, in Sly 1, you would have a run by default, but now he kind of, like, stealthily walks. That's cool. The jump arc is pretty much the same. Maybe, like, a little bit more floaty. But, oh, fuck. Did I really mess that up? Right off the bat, this is what we're doing? This is how the game's gonna go? I'm gonna fuck up jumps like this? What the hell? There's a pig dude over there. I'm trying to remember the last time I played Sly 2. I think it was, like... I think it was like a two years ago or some shit. Okay, I spliced the wires. Ow! Hold on. There it is. 
Oh my god, it's the big brain tank himself, Bentley. Okay, okay. Let me out that security company. Now, unlike Sly 1, Bentley is uh, not just relegated to a chair. He's not the guy in the chair no more. He's on the field, he has a crossbow. Am I still waiting for you to hack this shit? Okay, there you go. Thanks, Bentley. Presto, all clear. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. All oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Furry should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. <laughs> Was I flexing on Bentley? <laughs> Look at me. Like, whatever, nerd. Moving on with my life. All right. I'm going to have to remember some things here and there. feel I always feel a certain type of way when a character tells me to fucking press the X button or the circle button but just like the first game we have our our Cooper clan spire jumps and shit like that you know nothing different this is a staple in the series it'll stay here forever it'll never go anywhere get used to it love it as it loves you because it will never leave you unlike that ungrateful bitch Carmelita <laughs> Ooh, got a little bit spicy in there. What do you mean try pressing on ahead without him? Doesn't he? Don't he gotta open this for me? Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, in the first Light Cooper game, Murray was only relegated to, like, vehicle sections or, like, protecting him. He was very cowardly. Now he has donned a new persona. After facing his shadow and becoming the true self, he's now known as the Murray. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course, it is nothing before the Murray. The Murray. You can do it, Murray. Think? Can I not crawl under? There you go. Thanks, Murray. Does anybody else find it weird that he's wearing a belt but no pants? Another barrier stands before you. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth. <laughs> what? I shall bend it like the truth. <laughs> what? Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. I don't remember Murray being so, like, rigorous, I guess? I don't... <laughs> what? Oh, man, it's been a long time since I've heard these goddamn dialogue. No? My hulking frame. I don't get it. Now I see why people think Murray's, like, like, wrong. move some type of way, you know? <laughs> Oh no! Inspector Fox has beautiful and unpredictable. I actually forgot that she hides in the sarcophagus. That actually surprised me. You always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything yet. Oh really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not <laughs> He's like, somebody already stole it? God damn it. And God casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on Alright, Neela, you could have said all that without kind of sounding like a pretentious really bitch. Need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts? 
Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I mean, she has a point, Carmelita. Oh my God, look at this man. Smooth criminal. Took a page right out of Michael Jackson's book. Not the bad one, though. So right off the bat, you can kind of tell that Carmel. Oh shit, <laughs> look at Murray. Get the fuck out of here, buddy. So Carmelita has another new voice actor. This will be a staple for the series. She will never have the same voice actor ever. I feel like she's gonna hit me. I feel like she's gonna get a lucky shot. You know, Carmelita, if you're so acrobat- Oh my god, Bentley, are you okay? You're all going to jail. Carmelita, if you're so goddamn acrobatic, since you just like jump two stories in front of me and just shoot me there. Hey, come back here, Ringtail. Damn, so far you have caused more destruction than I have, Carmelita. Stop, thief. I'm not a thief, I didn't steal anything yet. You can't say that. You're framing me. You can't run forever. Freeze. Hold still. Where did Carmelita go? Oh, there she is. I'm like hearing her shoot her gun, but I don't see her. Oh wait, what? Where am I going? This way? I thought that was a police car. I'll find you, Cooper. Good luck with that, Carmelita. Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. And that Constable Neela, was a reference to the Claw Gang just a slip of the tongue or an intentional clue? Either way, it's her only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. I still is think Clockwork is a fucking terrifying villain. Holy shit. No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray. The brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Why'd you stutter to say that, Sly? <laughs> Two years ago, He's like, Murray, I the bronze. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future. But I won't let it be a repeat of my past. I know it's in your future, Sly, and it it don't look too good. I haven't seen you since 2014, buddy. You're you're fucking you you're dead, man. You're gone. You're not. I don't think you're ever coming back, to be honest. <laughs> One can only hope. All right, we're following the icon appears. Save progress. Blah blah blah. Square to continue. Oh, that's fucking weird. You know, it took, it took PlayStation to like the PS5 to be like, hey, we finally just, for every game now, X is the confirm button. Instead of fucking triangle. Anyways, episode one, The Black Chateau. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high-class art circles and shady back-alley crimes. Oh, hey, Whiskey Boom. How's it going? He was once a passionate young artist... Is that a snake? ...who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the it's a lizard. Quite lizard Squad? Are they back? What have Lizard Squad been up to? 
It's the new but really? Is it really? Let me check that. Hold up. Really? Oh my god, it is. Oh no. You know what? This is my new Poggers. This is the universal Poggers for my chat now. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with a clockwork It's just a picture of my dog just like screaming at me. Tonight. Sly Cooper and the Gangan. The Black Chateau. It's like Spy 2 is the best fucking Sly game. First person in three weeks starting the game, not halfway or at the end. Oh, really? Yeah, fucking, um, there's a lot of speedrunners for this game. Like, I, ha I have check, uh, sometimes I check in periodically to see, like, should I stream a game because there's, like, uh, you know, Sometimes there's just too many people streaming one game. You're like, I would like someone to watch. I don't want to be like the guy sitting all the way at the end, right? But, um, what do we got here? We got ThiefNet. I don't have anything yet. I probably could have got some coins in the tutorial if I broke some shit. No worry. Getting coins are, actually, I think it's kind of, not difficult, but kind of like grindy in this game if I remember. But yeah, any other time I see someone streaming Sly, like Sly 1, 2, or 3, and I don't, I don't ever see anybody streaming these in time, because I guess people just don't like it. But most of the time it's just like speedrunners and shit. And it's like, that's cool and all, but I want to I see the game. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Alright, so, unlike Sly 1 in this game, our trusty handy dandy Binocucom actually has somewhat of a purpose. You know, you can, every world is kind of like a big hub world and shit like that. And, depending on who you play as, Bentley, Murray, Sly, you have certain objectives you gotta do. Also within the world there are these bottles. In Sly 1, each level would have like their own set number of bottles, but now they're just relegated to hub worlds. And listen out for their, their little jingle jangle. We don't talk about these in time. <laughs> Mom, is it? He said, we don't talk about that. That don't exist. I definitely do agree with that though. Thieves in Time is it's not a bad game. It's kind of like it's the Arkham Origins of Sly Cooper, right? It's not a bad game, it's just really dull and kind of boring compared to everything else. Even compared to Sly 3, which overstays its welcome. Like it's goddamn Okami. Like I love Okami, but whoa, that game lasts way too long. You know, Bentley, you could have told me all this when I was on that tower. It would have really helped out. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. It was okay, but it wasn't the true Sly game. I love the other people with the change. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the more modern art style they did with Sly, where they're like, make him, make him more furrier and stuff, it's like... It's not terrible, but... The thing about Sly was like, it had a nice, fun, cartoony uh, aesthetic. Just like, just refine that more instead of being like, here's Carmelita with fucking like, 30 pounds of makeup on her face. Thanks for the follow, by the way. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah, but it was kinda... I will say that's probably my favorite voice actor for Carmelita, though. She had a lot of emotion in her shit. 
it was really good and then i love the other characters like my favorite whenever i ask people who they think my favorite was they're like oh was it ryuichi and it's like no it wasn't steve bloom it's fucking it's it's a uh, kid cooper i love him so goddamn much all right now where's the other satellites there's the one over there Let's see she was thickened yeah she really was not gonna lie both both in anatomy and in the uh, and in um whatchamacallit her fur she had a lot of fur and they gave her was i think thieves in time was the only game where she had like a mini skirt was that the only game where Carmelita actually had like a mini skirt? Why not just keep her pants? Like she looked it fine already. You have to mess with that. I guess probably make it like more mature. Yeah. I mean, they they sexualized Carmelita in four. That's for damn sure. But they didn't do no kinky shit like they did in uh, like they did in three. Where they're like, now she's... It's like, y'all think that Resident Evil 8 has the giant woman? Sly 3, she turns into a fucking... She... God damn it. <laughs> they make her big. She's a giant. She's crushing everything. Megadom. <laughs> exactly. And I think it's in this game where they, like, strap her to a table and, like, start hypnotizing her. And I'm like, that's freaky. You're on some shit. Where's the other satellite? I'm kind of just like breaking bottles and running around. I'm just enjoying the game. That's what I'm doing. I forget that I have to do shit sometimes. Oh, there it is. My blind ass. Hey, Shark, how's it going? Tomorrow I'm going to be, um... Tomorrow I plan on, uh, on continuing conception, if everything goes, you know, as planned. <laughs> Connection is still... <laughs> it's okay. Nice work, Sly. I know people who have way worse connections. I had to, uh, well I didn't have to, but I was helping a friend out going through, like, the Kingdom Hearts game, and they finally made it to Kingdom Hearts 3. They finally got to the end, and during the ending and stuff, off of their, like, PS4 share play while I watched them do it, it, like, it became like a goddamn Game Boy screen on my fucking 4K TV, right? Like, you can look at the individual squares, and I'm like, dude, what's with your connection, man? Come on. What happened? We talked about this. What happened to your gigabit? And he's like, I switched to Optimum. I'm like, dude, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Optimum is the worst internet ever it's terrible you pay like twice as much for less than gigabit which is weird and then they had the audacity to try and like upsell you like i remember i went to like an optimum like location or whatever like in person because like my mom wanted to she wanted to like get her cable back and stuff like that but um but like, I guess the way she doesn't really know all the technical right know-how and all that shit. Like so I'm there talking to them, and she's all in the like sales rep or whatever. It's like, oh, do you play games? Do you stream? Uh, then 400 megabytes will be great for you. It's great for streaming and gaming. And I'm just shaking my head. I'm going, uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Like, no, it's not. It's dog shit. Especially if you play fighting games. It's terrible. And I'm not even like. Someone who worries about frame data and stuff like that. Come on, Rose. Let's, let's beat the shit out of these guys. Murray's just doing all the work. I barely hit anybody. Make sure you pick up your coins. Good job, Murray. Yeah. So close to putting your two weeks. Oh, shit. I know how that feels. Hit the X button to jump. Best way to describe for the story's alright, characters aren't bad, motion controls fucking nasty. Okay. 
Rose Jordan made the game on purpose. You know what really sucks? There was a moment where I was like, man, I should probably, like, Sly 4 is fun enough to where I can replay it and not feel terrible about myself. Trust me, because I like Sonic 06 like a fucking madman. But, um... But, like... There's, like, a trophy in the game, right? I wanted to platinum the game, but this trophy just made me stop. Where you have to do the the training montage with Bob perfectly, right? And the motion controls are just fucking terrible. Also, Bentley's, like, mini games make me want to fucking kill myself sometimes put your flashlight away look at this old ps2 shit it's like oh just crawl under the table you'll be fine even though the flashlight's clipping through everything so for those who saw my uh my playthrough on ghost of Tsushima, now you definitely understand why i said hey man look they got the sly cooper crawl down because you like go under places and that. I'm gonna steal your shit. What is it? Is it a circle? Oh, can I not steal yet? I don't think I can even do the takeouts yet. I think I gotta buy that. How do I get past you? Oh, you're just looking the other way. Turn your flashlight. There you go. Good boy. There we go. Through the vents. I love PS2 games so much. Oh, fuck. I started looking at the chat, then I started walking into the wall. Give me a second. Let me at least get out of here before I fucking read that. Oh, now this is where they tell me how to take them out and stuff. Oh, they don't even have anything to steal. Nice. Let's see. Now, you want to find fact, miss 20% of the game if you don't have a DualShock 3. <laughs> Yeah, for real. You do miss 20. Oh my god. Yeah, you do. Oh my god. Now that I think about that, just get rid of that shit. It's. Oh. That game would be way shorter. Uh. Man. Oh, they have to glow to pickpocket. I'm going off of, uh. I have fucking Sly 4 in my mind where I think the only time their pockets glow is if they have, like, something really valuable instead of coins. Sly and SoCom. I remember Silcom 4. I didn't play it that much. I knew other people who played it way more than me, but... Alright, come on, lasers. You're really fucking about right now. Thank you. Let him have it. There you go. I gotta forget that I gotta start breaking shit to get coins. I don't usually worry about the coins until, like... You get the upgrade with the magnet and shit, so you don't actually have to pick them up individually. It's like, uh, it's like if you played Spyro, and, like, you have Sparks, and he goes and picks up the gems for you, but if you ever lose him, you're just, you gotta pick him up manually, and it sucks. Oh, come on. How many hits do you take? I probably should have done this stealthily. Ow! Don't worry, it'll be better once I get my other moves. Smack him with my Pip King. Sly is one formidable opponent. Alright. Why is dude giving you thief tips sound like a dweeb? Oh, uh, because he is dweeb! He talks just like this. Sly, you gotta get the fuck out of there. Too many enemies. SOCOM was a pretty... So... Did SOCOM 1 and 3... I'm pretty sure SOCOM 1 and 3 did, like, better than Vegas. Than, like, Rainbow Six Vegas 1 and 2, if I remember correctly. I remember not liking Vegas 2. The controls for it was kind of weird. But I remember liking Army of Two, though. That was fun. Except for the moments where you had to do those back-to-back -back things. Or whatever the fuck. Alright, take out your Binocicom. Time to take pictures of shit. Look at him. Look at that 
sexy embodiment of man. That's our target, the bait train, professional lounge lizard and international fortune. What was slide three's intro? Oh wait, yeah, slide yeah no slide three intro was was really good though. It was good, but it's kind. Of, are you fucking kidding me? Attention, please do not blow up generator. <laughs> what? Attention, don't fuck it up. And here's our. What is this? The wings? Oh my god. There we go. Tail feathers. He and carved dollar signs on the tail feathers. I just realized that. What the hell, Dimitri? <laughs> of course you would do some shit like that. Yeah, but uh, Slide 3's intro, it's really good because it's its all like, look at all the people that you're going to meet along the way. But at the same time, it does the thing that I kind of don't like, where it's like, here's here's the ending, so once you get here, you know, there's nothing else to do. of what the modern thief is up against. Spotlights, stepped up patrols, the sum of it all renders a direct assault impossible. To solve this puzzle, I'm going the cam missions were fucking Penelope. terrible. Yeah, with the First, what's her name, Penelope? With one Dimitri has in his office. Once and it's all like, come here, Penelope. She's like, I flashbanged myself. Oh. His communication. Second, if you see the boss, hail him. We might learn something from studying his movement. You can tell he's super cool because he smokes. Look at him. Proper understanding of the operation. Those clockwork tail feathers are as good as ours. Her or the Contessa? I like the Contessa. <laughs> 2004 standards. Alright, so what do we have? I don't think I have that many coins. I got 38. We gotta start stealing shit. I need, like, I need my smoke bombs and shit. All right, let's see if we can go and steal some shit. Anything in your pockets? No? You got nothing? Okay, you bastard. Broke bitch. What about you? Nothing. Mm. Only super cool kids smoke. I think I can't steal shit until I get a tutorial for it, right? I don't think they actually spawn anything. Oh no, they do. He's glowing. Oops! I landed it right on the bottle. That makes people wary and shit. Is it gonna turn around? Nope. Give it to me. What you got? Oh, come on! A watch. Now, it really sucks about Slide 2, even though I love it. And, uh, I think... I think Slide 3 makes an improvement on it, where once you steal shit, it automatically tallies up what you got. In Slide 2, you have to manually head back to your main base and sell it on ThiefNet. And the... And the, um... Whatchamacallit, the values for some of these items are like really piss poor. Bronze watch. You suck. You suck, you're terrible. I hate you. How dare you give me that? It's like spitting in my face. <laughs> hate the Contessa area because it's such a pain. I actually, it is kind of, you know what? You're not wrong. It is a pain to navigate, but just the architecture alone, I really love it. I don't know why, I just love it. I love the colors they use because, because even though they use like dark colors, it's not muted. It's very like vivid and bright. Also, it feels like, like, uh, earlier when I was talking about, like, Slide 3 and how, uh, they start the game off and it's like, are you turning around? They start the game off and it's like, here's the ending, once you get to here, you know, you're done, right? Like, um, compare that to something like, I know they're different games, but hear me out. Compare it to something like Persona 5, where it starts out and it's all like, here's your big heist, right? And here's all the people you'll meet along the way. Like, once you do that, there's more game after that. 
which is great, and I love that. That's what's good. And then uh, in slide two, granted they don't start the game out like slide three, but once you get to the Contessa, it feels like it's the big climax and everything changes. And then after, oh fuck. And then after that, like you move on and, and it feels, you know, it's, it predates Persona 5, but it feels like that, you know? Where it's all like, it's not done. You still got shit to do, even though you tuck out the big bad. Now, that's kind of also a double-edged sword, because after that, it feels like you're doing less than what you already did. You know? Except for, like, the last boss fight, I guess? But... It's still a nice feeling, though. It's like, you got... You got to the big boss, but now you just gotta tie up some loose ends. And oh my fucking god, are you serious? His pockets are so shiny. Both their pockets are shiny. Gimme it. A gold comb. There you go. A silver comb. Look at Sly's face. <laughs> He's like, yay, I got it! Like Mario would have done. Alright. Where the hell is my, uh... Oh. No, that's my mission. Right? Where's my home base? Here it is. Oh, shit! Do you got anything in your pocket? Oh, no! Bastard! I'll lead you directly to my home base. In a way, Contessa is the climax because she's the major player. Yeah. She's given two chapters. Oh, she is given two. She's given two chapters, and so is uh, Rajan? I think that's how you pronounce his name. Our, our beautiful Nigerian prince. Alright, sell loot. What we got? Cool. The fucking the rewards you get for this shit is so minuscule. Trigger Bomb is actually pretty good. Fist of Flames is... Eh, you don't need it, but... It's nice to have. Oh, so same way. Yeah, you're right. Okay, you said that already. My bad. I just didn't read it. It's probably more contested hinge. Yeah. Connected with the spices for their bad guys logic. Yeah. Rajan only cares about his spices, right? He doesn't really care about anything. Well, none of the claw gains really care about the big picture besides, like, arpeggio. Right? And Dimitri sure as fuck doesn't care. He's all like, I'm just printing money. I don't care. Alright, um, now where the hell are we going, Sly? Because we're not going to sit here and grind out treasures, like, forever. We'll be here all night, and we're not doing that. That we are not doing. Before we leave, though, I would like to grab all the clue bottles. Yeah, it's more about the money for Rajan. Yeah. And then you got characters like John Bisson, who's all like, FUCK NATURE! <laughs> So I hate it. Be able to listen in on this conversation. He's like, I don't care about the money. Just get rid of all these fucking trees and shit. I like John Basson. He's just, he's unreasonable. <laughs> all right. So now we got this painting that we super bugged. We're gonna throw it in Dimitri's office. Also, also, why don't you just? Like, if you walked in your in your workplace, your office, and you saw a picture of some random dude you never knew just waving high at you, you'd be like, what the fuck is this? Am I going the right way? I think I'm going the right way. I like to believe that. I like to believe that I'm right sometimes, you know? I'm not always right. Yeah, I am going the right way. Can I make this jump? Oh, no, I gotta, I gotta shimmy on over. Uh, Sly 4, it is not. Sly Force like really lenient with its uh with its Cooper spire jump and shit. Might as well grab the bottle since they're here. If I remember Sly 2 has some pretty good ass uh upgrades for these goddamn things. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make it up there. I just gotta do this. There we go. Grab this. A 
I love how they do the little music with your tippy toes. That's nice. Alright. Wasn't there a second one out here? Hmm. Never mind. I'm not always right, but when I am, <laughs> I break off a whiskey. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, to be fair, he was frozen. He was frozen. But I mean, like... Like, even, like, Fred Flintstone wasn't like that, right? He gets frozen in, in like, what, Billy and Mandy or some shit? And he comes back, he's just crazy? It's not like he's like, Fuck trees, I hate them! <laughs> Alright. Here we're at Dimitri's fucking hip and happening nightclub. That's alright. I never was one for the direct approach. Well, because the indirect approach is way up there through that air vent. <laughs> Cartoon for kids, evil asshole. Potato, potato. Yeah. They're like, nature, how dare he? What's in this fucking soundtrack? Oh, I'm not making that jump. I gotta go the long way around. And I think I'm not supposed to get caught. I think if I actually get caught, I gotta like redo it or some shit. No, I think I think I can get caught and like beat their asses, right? Something like that. Just trying to think of like an easy way to get there without anyone seeing me. Eh, this is good. You're all like partially blind anyways. Oh! I think stealth only going on. <laughs> I love how Sly's like a stealth game, but like, there's only certain moments in the game where stealth is actually really that important. It's like, it's just like a fun platformer with a stealth theme, right? So you kind of, you kind of feel good about yourself if you do it stealthily. It's not important, though. So you're picking up what I'm throwing down? Pizza. I love Dimitri, he's the best. So basically what Benley is saying is like, there's gonna be some treasures scattered scattered throughout uh, the hub worlds and shit. Oh my god, the frame rate dropped like a bitch over here. What the hell's going on? Um... And if we get to... If we get the paintings to him in one piece, right? Well, not just painting like the treasures and shit. We can sell it for a... You know? People will buy for a high price. A little bit of that uh, Resident Evil 4 going in there. Coming through. We're out of here. Also, we just saw a safe, just like in Sly 1. Get all the clue bottles, get the passcode, open the safe. You're only one, one, one safe uh, per world. Nothing too hard. Avoid getting spotted by the flashlight guards. If you get caught, you can run away by holding down the R1 button. It took them this long to tell me that I had a run button. Thanks. Thanks, Bentley. While I'm here, I'm gonna grab this bottle. Then we're gonna head back to the and head back to the hideout. Get this in there. Come back, grab that vase or vase, however the fuck you wanna say it. I'm not I'm not a scholar. Don't question me, I grew up in the ghetto. I don't speak English. I speak ghetto knees. Alright. Get this to him, so we can make some goddamn money. Oh yes, the training area in 3, it was fucking unbearable. Especially on like a replay, there was no option to like skip it. Get my goddamn smoke bomb. Beautiful. That was freaky, Dimitri! I never heard him say that a day in my life! 
He said, oh, Carmelita, come to me. Give me the cuffs, baby. Put them on me. Cuff me like one of your Frenchmen. All right. How do I, uh, wrong button. Is it select? Yes, it is select. I'm gonna set that to triangle. So, oh wait, no, can't set it to triangle, my bad. Set that to L1. So, pow. If I ever get caught, throw that up there. Then I'm out of here. What the hell is that guy? Is he a, is he a mole? No, he's a pigeon or some shit. What is he? Now, are these the ones where they have, like, bombs on them and shit? You nope, them you just gotta get them back. back to the safe house in one piece. I think it's, like, in three. Yeah, I think it's in slide three where they go, like, where they give you a time limit. Because I guess they felt doing this was a little bit too easy. I don't wanna... I'll just go the long way around. Oh, you got shiny pockets. You got some... <laughs> you got some fucking bling in there. Give me that shit. Silver ring? I'll take it. May have been four. <laughs> they love to make fun of French culture. I mean, yeah, they do. But I guess you can kind of, you can kind of give them a pass on that. Sly's from France. He grew up in France, so that's his home world. Home world? What the hell am I saying that? Like it's fucking Kingdom Hearts? What the fuck? This is home. Really, man? Ah! Damn it, I dropped my vase too. Jackass. You said, you said, I feel like someone's digging in my pockets. Turn around and start beating the shit out of me. Really, dude? Really? Hate you fucking guys, you pieces of shit. That was unbelievable. Let me see. Your cats in the background just getting freaky. I'm surprised that guy just fucking turned on me like that. I was not, I was not suspecting that. Come on, I can, I can stand on this, right? Yep. Well, got no momentum from that one, but it did look cool as shit though. I really like Sly's jump arc. Like, if you have enough. Like, you have a lot of freedom and air to, like, fucking go wherever you want, really. You can fix your trajectory pretty good, you know? Turn on a dime. It's great. I like it. It's not like... Like, I love Jack and Daxter, but sometimes the double, the double jump makes me, like, hate myself. Because you'll press the X button and he won't even jump. He'll just be like, fuck you. I do what I want. I'm grown. Can't tell me what to do. If you need that oh shit go back, you can do it. Yeah, exactly. You're like, fuck, no! Like, I was playing, uh... Like, recently... Oh, that that's a lot. I'm gonna give Bentley his, uh, his stuff. Murray, you gotta wait. I love you, Murray, but your shit's not really important, to be honest. Until you get, like, what, the Thunderflop or some shit? But, um... I lost my train of thought for a moment. What the hell? What the fuck was I even saying? And where the hell do I have to go? Oh, follow Dimitri. Alright, cool, gotcha. I lost my train of thought, i am be honest. I really did! It took me like two seconds to forget what I was talking about. is clear for what? Of that I'm uncertain. From your bullshit sly. Hiya! I love how he swung open the door. He's like, what the fuck? Come on man, I was jacking my shit. This is wonderful music. I love this man. Now, whenever you're tailing someone, 
As always, Assassin's Creed this shit before Assassin's Creed even existed. And make sure you just do it from the rooftops, because they'll never suspect it. Look at this beautiful man. That's what every man should envision, envision to be, right? Just perfect. So fucking fabulous. <laughs> what the fuck are you saying, Dimitri? He's like, juice? Who's got the juice? Who's got the sauce? I got the sauce. I got, like... Like, he's talking to himself, and I'm guessing, like, there's a little bit of proximity thing going on since I'm on the rooftop. Like, his voice is really quiet. But he's saying some freaky shit right now. And I don't want to be directly behind him, because I don't want him to turn around on me. Like that fucking, what are these guys, ox? Cow? Like that guy did to me earlier, it was scary. And then I also just don't want to fucking have to do this all over again. Mm, smooth. Keep it smooth, baby. You won't be able to see what Dimitri is doing from up on that water tower. Go down for a closer view. Mm, I was about to <laughs> I was about to start talking back to Bentley because he said smooth, some stupid baby. shit, but he's like but he said on that water tower, man. And I'm like, okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. Excuse me? Dude, he's right there. I know where he's at. <laughs> I guess I guess in their I guess in their head since I'm not looking directly at the keypad. Yeah, it was a bit early of a fail trigger. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure Dimitri like gets to the keypad and he starts like freaking out like for two seconds. But god damn it. Bentley, what the hell? <laughs> All right, where the fuck did he even go? All right, let me see. When I was playing this back in 2006, didn't expect it would be best friends with Australian after playing three. Best friends with an Australian? What? Oh, you would be best. All right, I was like, I was like, talking about Sly. Talking about? Wait, are you talking about Sly? Who are you talking about? You talking about the fucking koala? Mind controlling dude that you used like twice in the game? Oh, okay. Alright, just making sure. <laughs> Talking about you. Got it. So my original theory was correct. <laughs> you like the Assassin's Creed movie? I never saw it. I'm be honest, I never saw it, and I'm be honest too. I I don't think I ever want to. Like from the first trailer where like this random scientist chick is just like, oh my god, the leap of faith. I'm like, mm. I'm sitting there, I'm like, nope, seen too many bad movies, don't. That's one I don't want to watch. I'll watch a bad movie, right? And I might even love it. But that one, no sir. I was like, not doing that. Whoa, the leap of faith. I can't believe it. My reaction would be like, did that guy just like fucking jump from like the rooftop? Alright, how do you expect me to look at Dimitri if fucking, if, if the goddamn bull is right there? He's, he's really in my way. You better not fucking turn around. Got it, Bentley. I did it. Also, I love how the music just had like a stroke for a moment there. <laughs> I did it. Job complete. Sly. Look, look at this motherfucker's face. He's like, I'm cool. Yeah, I am cool. Am I cool? 
I guess I'm cool. I think I'm cool. Yeah, I'm cool. That's yeah. We'll, we'll stick with that story. I'm cool. Yeah. Fucking sly and his stupid faces. All right. Now let me actually read the chat because I couldn't really look at it <laughs> while Tim was on fire. <laughs> He's a dick plucker eating to himself. <laughs> what? Watch the bad movie Dauntless Battle of Midway. It was rated two stars out of ten. What the fuck is that? What is that? I ain't never heard of no shit like that. What is that? Let me let me wager a guess. It's a battle, right? Gunfights. It's dauntless, right? And they fight on a train. For money. And someone works for the government. Right? Is that what that's about? I'm just going off the title alone. Alright. Oh, Murray's gotta do that shit. Cool. <coughs> World War II movie. I was way off. Holy shit. Five pilots had to survive the scene after being shot down. Oh shit, really? How do you... Two out of ten. How did they... How do you fuck that up? Based on a true... <laughs> Quote unquote. <laughs> I bet it is based on a true story. That's some scary shit. How do you fuck that up? Especially if it's based on a true story. I guess if the guy was just like, and then we like fished and survived. The end. Hmm. So like just the, just like the camera work was fucking terrible. So, oh, come on, motherfucker, really? I couldn't pick you up. Get the hell over here. Knock your ass out. Thwack. I fucking love Murray. He's amazing. So, unlike Sly 1, we actually get to play as the other cast members. Now, they all have their benefits, I guess? I don't really fucking know, to be honest. Murray's supposed to be the brawn, but in this game, he takes around the same damage as Sly, so there's not really that much brawn going on, right? And, like, with the with Murray and, eh, with Murray and Bentley, you can't steal shit, so that's a downgrade. Also, you can't be as agile with them, you know? So, I really, like, it's, you can't pick them up, are you fucking kidding me? Is it triangle? Maybe it's triangle. How do I pick people up in this? I could I'm thinking of four. In four, you just press circle and he like stomps and picks them up. CGI looks really CGI? What would they use the CGI for? For like the planes and shit? Maybe maybe like green screen the water or something? I don't know. Alright, how do I Okay. It's triangle and circle. There you go. That's cool. Oh, I can get that bottle. I'm a fucking giant purple hippo. Oh. All right. The boats and the battle. Oh, okay. In two thousands, but like, why not just? <sighs> I'm gonna assume that they didn't have, like, a budget or anything for that movie. Because why not just use practical effects? You know what? I can't even say they didn't have budget, because if they're CG and shit, then just do practical- What the hell? Well, you got Jurassic Park that came out before that shit. <laughs> you know what? It was the 2000s. They were off that, they were off that Star Wars high. When was the first prequels for Star Wars? Oh, it was from 2019. Oh, what the fuck? God. Well, then there's no excuse for that shit. You're strong, Murray. 
Well, I mean, there's... I can't even say there's no excuse for that shit, because there's... Well, you know what? I, I was thinking about that backwards. No, there is no excuse for that. <laughs> there's a lot of things you can blame it on, though. Give me this chair. I'll take it. There we go. Hey, man. Chill out. Oh, fuck. Chill out. I got him. Uh. I was kind of fucked up, Murray. <laughs> the Murray loves to commit murder. Alright. Is there a, uh... Is there not a fucking... I can just go through it. What the hell am I worried about? Come here, buddy. Oh, fuck. Ah! I know I'm supposed to toss you in there, but it's too many of you. I gotcha. This is a really bad way to kill these guys. Oh, shit. My bad. That's a really bad way to go. Like, you're getting fucked up and drowned? You can't really say they're playing right into your hands, Bentley, if you're just fucking up their equipment. What? Okay, fellas, I've constructed Come on, Bentley, you're smarter than this. Clockwork tail feathers, but we'll need to pull off a few more jobs to set things up for the heist. First, Sly will have to pick a few pockets in the theater so that we'll have access to the Spotlight Control Center. Once that's accomplished, we'll be able to turn off all the security around the printing press. We'll need your muscle, Murray, to take out all the exterior alarm horns. We don't want anything to alert the guards while we pull off the big job. And finally, we'll need to get into the disco tech to drop this mirror ball. Trust me, it's all part of the plan. I'll trust you, Bentley. Somewhat. Not with my life, though. But I'll trust you. Look how fucking shifty Sly is. He's like, look at these motherfuckers. Why do I... Why do I deal with you guys? Why am I here? Man, I can really just go for, like, hookers and blow. Wait, why do I choose Sly if, I'm, if I gotta do it as Murray? What the hell's wrong with me? You got this, Murray. We gotta go around, destroy some boxes or some shit? What are we doing? What am I doing? Oh, Sly has something over there. Murray has silence alarms. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Look at him. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Oh my god. Murray. Murray, you are... You're precious. You're precious to me. I love you, Murray. I thought there was someone below me. You don't see anything. Stealthy. Take a dip. I just wish Murray was like, was like, all right, Bentley, I get it. I'm stupid, but I speak English, man. Evil doers feel my 
my wrath. It's like Murray's not stupid. <laughs> Murray's definitely not stupid because I don't know why they ever did that. I guess I guess it was the early two thousands, right? So they're just like they're like the big tough dumb guy, but he's also the one that's in charge of the car and constantly fixes it and shit. I guess Bentley helps fix this the car too, right? That makes sense. But you know, Murray is the like, it's his car, right? You know, especially in like Sly 4, he's like doing fucking crazy races and shit. Also, you can't really, you can't really treat Murray like he's dumb when he's fucking, when he went on like suicide missions in goddamn Sly 1. Like, you see the shit he does? Like, he's a little cowardly in that game, but, you know. Over there, is there another one? No. I guess he'll be, like, farther in or some shit. The Murray is as stealthy as a spider on a window shield. Oh, fuck, come on. The Murray says as he can't, like, get up the fucking... God damn it, Murray! Come on. Where the hell am I going? There's that. There's another one around here. Yep. Is it on the ground? I want this. It's mine. I will say Murray has some good ass jump out. Where the fuck? Where are the henchmen at? I can't do this by myself. Well, I guess I can just throw this shit at it, right? There you go. Got it, Bentley. Thanks for telling me that. Figured it out already, but thank you. That's why you're the brains. Can't do nothing but myself. Is there a bottle around here? Oh, that's for Sly. Sly can get up there. I can use my Panaki on holding this guy. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. I thought I would have dropped him or something. This is my best friend. We're going for a ride. You know I can't bring him up. Sorry, best friend. I can't bring him up because I gotta, I gotta like get down here and like jump up there or some shit. Oh no, I could have brought him with me. Now I'm sad. Damn it. It's a frog with gray hair. He's too old for this shit. Did it, Murray. I'm proud of you, buddy. Ah! I'm a hippo. <laughs> I'm supposed to be able to swim. You want to fucking go for a dip? Look at you. Now who's laughing? What the fuck? You son of a bitch. You can swim too. Frog drowning. Imagine that. I love how I just broke fucking briefcases full of money, but I took the coins. Because that's the only thing that has value here. Get the fucking bottle, Murray. Come on, man. There you go. Might as well grab him while I'm out here, right? Shouldn't there be, like, some near this tree or something? I'm not gonna worry too much about them. We'll get them before we leave the level. Oh. Did I not grab you? Oh, shit! Press the wrong button. What's this say? Lestanky, <laughs> Lestanky Tourist Hotel, okay. <laughs> he said, damn, y'all motherfuckers stay. You guys are fucked up. 
It's not even French, they just straight up just in English insulted me. What do I have? I got nothing to sell. Of course I got nothing to sell. I'm fucking Murray. Alright, Sly, what we got? Your mission's over there. Theater pickpocketing. I'm just gonna go on through. There's a bottle somewhere. Is it on the ground? I think it's on the ground. I heard it. It calls to me. It beckons me. Oh, it's you. There we go. Thank you. Oh, shit. this one at? Oh, you're in there. You're under the bridge. Are you gonna turn around? Nope. I will take this and move on with my life. And then there's the bottle over here that I want to pick up. Well, what do you got? Bronze come. Useless. You shall die now. What the hell? Alright, Bentley, what am I doing in here? What's my goal? Tell me my mission. Okay, Sly. There's the power boxes which route to the printing press area. To take care of them, I'll need you to put a splice clip in those spotlights. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down for this control. He's like, wow, Sly, I didn't think you were such a, a bitch. Gotcha, Bentley. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Oh, there you go. He turned around. Keep picking his pocket. Come on. Sometimes you have to dig a little. You know, sometimes you gotta get in there, you know? It's like you gotta fucking tell him he's beautiful too while you're at it. Five out of ten chances of getting ganked. I like the mods. <laughs> hey man, that's about fifty percent. Not even fifty percent. About fifty percent. <laughs> that's why I have you, Bentley. This lad was never good at math. Said I'm a betting man. Extreme all over his face. All right, all right, Dimitri. He said, "I take no fucking prisoners." There we go. Ooh, health pickup. I don't know why they gave it to me. I didn't need it, but thank you. I'm not gonna complain. I'm just flexing the flex. Unnecessary slide. I think I gotta go backstage, right? Hello, guys. I'm here to steal your keys. And your money. But most importantly, your money. He's so gonna turn on me. He's so gonna turn on me, there's no way. 
Did the other guy hear that? Nope. Is that flashlight gonna see me? I feel like he's gonna turn and see me. Oh, he's gonna turn, isn't he? Fuck! <laughs> I almost thwacked him in the back. Alright. What do I got? I got one more to do? Where the hell is the last guy? Is he over here? Oh, there he is. He's up there. I'm gonna just watch him TV. What do you want? Oh, come on. That's bullshit. You know it. You know that's bullshit. I'm not even fully under the table. I don't even think I sprint behind him. Did I? Can you grab the fuck? Come on, Sly. Sly? Sly, what's going on here? I love how this man just went back to watch. What are you watching? Just static, right? Well, he went back to watch the static. If that was me, if I was a fucking security guard, and then someone came, tried to pick my pockets, and I thwacked them and they ran away, I wouldn't go back to watch TV. I'd start freaking out. I'd be like, well, there's someone's in the building with me. I'd start screaming shit. Screaming bloody murder. I forgot that Sly's cane can pick up coins. Huh. Might as well break shit, alright? Get as much coins as I can. Look at all that money. Makes me feel good about myself. Alright, just gonna grab this. There we go. It's better than working. Yeah, it is. I would know because that's what I actually do. <laughs> I have some nice shifts here and there. And you best believe, I go to work, I'm taking my goddamn Switch with me or some shit. Catch up on my anime, catch up on my movies. It's great. I get paid pretty good too. Don't work because of Rona. Aww. I need to get like more more uh, shifts, but I know once I do, it's gonna cut into my streaming time, and that's gonna that's gonna suck. Oh my god, I'm going the wrong way. I gotta go back up here. I love my streaming. It's great. Makes me feel good about myself, playing my video games, enjoying my time. Gotcha, Bentley. Excuse me, Sly. Weren't you complaining that the blades were spinning too fast and that's why you couldn't get up there? But instead, you grabbed the pole? What a, what a fucking liar. Oh wait, I'm doing this backwards. He didn't even have to deal with the fucking blades. Enjoy being here for the hour and 21 minutes. Thank you.
Maybe the whole shack? Oh, probably. I guess, because vibration does kind of work like that. Maybe, like, the vibration plus his weight would, like, make it... Make the bolts come loose or something. But I don't expect Sly to weigh that... Actually, how tall are these motherfuckers in this universe, actually? Now that I think about it. Let's say... Let's say Bentley's, like, 4'11", right? Because if he was any... If he was any smaller, then Sly would be tiny compared to that. So Sly's probably... Bentley's, like, 4'11". Sly would probably be, like, 5'6"? Six, five seven maybe. I'm trying to think. Five five, right? Okay. Yeah. And then Ben, I'm uh, not Bentley. And then Murray would be like fucking five five ten or five eleven. Six feet. I don't think six feet. I think just a. I think just about short of six feet because he's like, he's not like hulking over them, right? Wait, where the fuck am I going? I'm supposed to get out through the top. I think like I think like Dimitri would be like, but is Dimitri taller than Bentley? Because Dimitri slouches and he's like a he's like Randall from fucking like Monsters Inc. Yeah, Dimitri would be in six feet because he slouches, but he's like he's skinny but he's tall. Right, you lay him out longwards. You stretch out his fucking noodle neck. He's taller than all of them. Yeah, he would definitely be like 6'2 or something. Like Murray, Murray would be like 5'10, 5'11. And Carmelita would probably be like one inch shorter than Sly, right? So 5'4. I, I feel comfortable with that. Now someone's gonna be like, man, did you actually know Bentley's like three feet tall? And then it's like, then everyone's fucking super small. <laughs> Everyone's height depends on Bentley, because he's the smallest out of all of them. Now that I think about it, is fucking Penelope shorter than Carmelita? I don't think she is. I want to see if there's any other. Nope, only Sly. Okay, cool. Hold it, Koopa. Constable Mila. Wait, you know what? I take that back. Dimitri's not taller than Panda King. Panda King's fucking huge. So Panda King would be like fucking. Why We're making lore, up? that fancy lore. Black and white is Panda King would be like fucking... 6-4? Maybe? The claw gang putting them to use. So what, it takes a thief to catch a thief? And now that I'm looking at, now that I'm looking at Cosmo Nilo, is she taller than Sly? I'm going to trust you in this case, By like an sure inch? I feel like she's taller than Sly. Literally. Literally. Don't fall behind. What the fuck, Neela? Why are you killing people? Why are you hitting shit? <laughs> I wanted to. I had to. Yeah, Neela is a bit taller, right? I thought we were going off of two. Yeah, but I mean, like, the reason why I brought up Dimitri was because, you know, spoilers for people who never play Slug. Fucking, he joins you in three. Right? Oh, where the fuck she go? I'm right here, Neela. Neela. Right here. Right? And then fucking Penelope doesn't show up until 3. Panda King's in 1, 2. So even if we were going off at 2, you still gotta put in Panda King. Because he's in slide 1. He's fucking massive. Then you got, uh, you got General, that, in three, you got General, uh, Tao or Sao or Song, however the fuck people want to say it. I say Tao. I say Tao because fucking, it doesn't have an S in it, does it? If it has an S in it, if it was TS, then I would say Sao. But it doesn't, right? So it's Tao. Neela, why are you so destructible? Like, it's unnecessary. Also, I don't appreciate you using your stunt spore ability on me. Neela, you are so fucking slow. <laughs> Isn't she supposed to be like a cheetah or some shit? Why are you so slow, Neela? 
Oh, fuck. I say that now, I can't even get up there. Am I supposed to get up there? Please don't tell me I'm supposed to get up there. Alright, cool. Well done, Sly. Pink Panther. Well you know what? I should've saw that one coming. You approve. Now, the older they get, the taller you get. Remember, Sly's father's like life. massive. <laughs> But I mean, like, Sly, like, of course he'd be massive to Sly, because he was like a tiny baby at the time. And it is Tau. See, it is Tau. There's no fucking S in it. If it was an S in it, it'd be sad. Bitch got some anger issues. <laughs> Just like, fuck this chair and fuck this, fuck these goddamn briefcases. I have no idea why I just destroyed that for no reason. I just felt like it. I didn't even think about it. I just destroyed it. What the DJ ever do to me? It really shows later. It does. You know what? You're right. It does. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get Bentley and come all the way back here, which... Ew. I can't complain too much. Well, I can complain if I really wanted to, but... I can't complain too much because I love... I just love traversing the world in Sly Cooper because I just love how, how it feels. But it does kind of suck that you gotta go all the fuck the way... Over there to the hideout, switch to the character, run all the fuck the way back here without any of the abilities that Sly has, so it's not as fun. You can't even steal shit along the way to make it like worth it. Speaking of that, I should start stealing more paintings and shit. Where the fuck is my hideout? Am I going? My hideout's over here, right? Oh fuck. Yeah, there it is. Got it. The lights followed. Wait, what? Did they? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna check that when I go back. Bentley. Now I gotta say, Bentley kind of weirds me out a little bit with how his neck elongates when he jumps. Fucking turtle freak. But I still love Bentley. But let's be honest. Like my, you know, I guess major spoilers here for the end of the game. Fucking despite despite Bentley's condition in the in the next games, he becomes even more powerful. <laughs> he's basically at that point he's basically a fucking cyborg. Alright. You said these lights follow me? I'm assuming it's these lights. Stroking the Turk. <laughs> what? I don't think these lights follow me. Nah, they just shake, yeah. I wish. Also, where the fuck is the- oh, the bottle's up there. Bentley, you can shoot that bottle, right? How do I shoot? Is it a triangle? Nope, that's my bomb! Oops, wrong button. Speaking about that, I gotta set the trigger. There we go. How do- how do I exit? There we go. Now I shoot with this, right? And then... Break it. Come on, Bentley. You can do it. Bentley? You son of a bitch. I just went through. I can get it. Got it. Oh, what? You son of a bitch. Are you kidding me? You're full of shit. You're full of shit, game. You're full of it. I don't want to hear it. Can I get up? Can I? No, I can't. There's no way for Bentley to get up there. You only get up there if you're sly. Jump attack? I don't think Bentley jumps high enough for that. I'll try it once I come back out. Okay, Bentley. To get past the laser fence, you'll need to blow it up. Press the triangle button. Sly, I don't know how you're, why you're telling me how to do my shit. I don't tell you how to do it. Wait a minute, I do. I'm not even gonna shoot that motherfucker. Just blow his ass up. Really? Hit the fucking ceiling, dude. You know, say what you want about Sly Murray, but Bentley's kind of the most evil out of them all. He's blowing these. He's blowing them up in their sleep. I hate this mission. I don't know why, but I hate it. There's one mission with Bentley that I can't 
fucking stand, and it's not because... You know what? I can't even say it's not because it's bad, because I guess by proxy it is kind of bad, but... It's, uh... You know what? Now there's two missions that I think of. It's when you have to play, like, this fucking... For, for lack of, a uh, For lack of, um... Spoil, spoiling shit. It's when you're it's when you're in the world with the Contessa and you gotta fucking do this tower defense shit with Bentley. Right? You gotta turn these valves and fucking move this shit and don't let the robo wolves get you or whatever the hell. Like that one pisses me off because it lasts for way too fucking long. And then there's just the other thing with Murray and the tank. Because those controls are just fucking terrible. They're garbage. They're they're sin against God. <laughs> Like, even, even, like, Resident Evil didn't control that badly. Are you fucking kidding? Bentley. Bentley. What's going on here? Oh. Duh. Fuck. Camera, work with me here. Really? I guess we're both missing our shots then. Oh shit! Eh. I was gonna. Oh wait, no. Where, where's my. Oh, there it is. Can't throw it too high because it'll stick to the ceiling. Alright, fuck you. Fuck you, game. You can't let me have my fun. Really? It went through him? Oh, shit! Oh, fucking, you gotta be kidding me. There you go. Bentley is the master of fucking destruction. <laughs> the TDF missions. TDF. Remind me. He wasn't as bad with the TDF. Tower. Oh yeah. Yeah, 3 wasn't as bad as it, but then you had more unnecessary, like, fucking stupid minigame shit. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I love you, Bentley, but I can't stand your fucking helicopter. It's shit. I hate it. <laughs> can't stand your goddamn helicopter, or your stupid camera, or your robo car, or any of that dumb shit. I love you, Bentley, but I hate your fucking gadgets. Where the hell's the other pillar? Is it over here? Is it this one? Can't be this one. Sly has to climb this later, I think. Beat the hack mini- Oh, the hack mini games are fucking terrible. The hack mini games are terrible, and then for some ungodly reason, they went like, Here's Bentley's hack pack! Don't you wanna fucking play that shit? Is it that one? Do I have to go- No. It's up here. Where's the other one? Oh, fuck. Alright, I was up there and they didn't even show me the goddamn marker, so what the hell? Guess I'm just supposed to remember it. So what, it's this one? Yeah, it is this one. Blow you up. And it's this one over here. Yeah, I forgot I got used to Pinocchio. There's something about using Bentley bombs that makes me make me feel good about myself. I don't know why. I just do. Wow. Only shears the metal. Okay. Good job, Sly. Did I just say good job, Sly? I meant Bentley. Okay, right? fellas. Sly was complimenting me, and I felt like complimenting him back. Time to pull off the big heist. First, 
Mari will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Slot, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock sign. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the sign. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. And we all get the fuck out of here. I love you, Bentley. I love your your fucking your bullshit. So who starts this? It's it's Murray. Murray starts it, right? Am I bugging? Oh no 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 no. Murray starts it, right? No, Bentley starts it. Operation what? Thunderbeak. I thought it said Operation Thunderback. I'm like, hey. He's like, I don't want your stacks, just break my back. <laughs> I love that song. What's love got to do? <laughs> Why did I choose Sly? What the fuck is wrong with me? So, on the Scooby-Doo note, right? Boy, am I in luck. Uh, are you in luck? Because uh, back in October, past October, I was, uh, during one of my streams, I was looking for, I was talking about, like, Scooby-Doo games and how, like, I love Scooby-Doo and all that shit, and, but, like, there's no games that I know of that are, like, a good Scooby-Doo game. And a lot of things that I always heard was, like, 100 Nights Frights, a mask, and stuff like that. So then I asked for a recommendation, someone gave me a recommendation. They were like, hey man, you should try on mask, a mask is cool. So then, on my channel on YouTube, I decided to do a, uh, a Scooby-Doo Unmasked blind playthrough. And boy, how I loved every moment of it. I had like a smile on my face the whole entire fucking time. With that said, I think around this October, if Corona doesn't get to me first, fucking, I would love to revisit like a Scooby-Doo, well, I say revisit, but play another Scooby-Doo game, right? So like, like Unmask is the only one I've ever played. So, uh, I'll think about like 100 Nights Fright. I, I looked it up a little bit. It seems pretty chill. It seems pretty good. A lot of people say it's the best one. But f the only one I played is on Mask, and I love it. I loved everything about it. Fucking. I need you guys to get out of my way. Gonna make you wait till October. That's worse than waterboarding. Oh man. On, I mean, it's not. It's not that I want to make you wait. It's just that like it's it's the perfect time, you know? Because usually in October, a lot like I love horror games and stuff like that, right? So I can pick up a horror game anytime and play. And what the fuck are we doing, Bentley? I mean, not Bentley. Did I say Bentley? Murray. My bad. You throw me up there. From where? What are we doing? Are we going to the water tower? We're going to the water tower. Um, yeah, but I think it's, I think it's best to do it in October, mainly because everybody and their fucking mother who owns a YouTube channel, they're like, we're going to play a horror game for Halloween. And it's like, what about the fun games, right? There's some people who love Halloween that just don't like horror. And it's like, might as well have something for them to watch, right? And Scooby-Doo is a good thing like that. There's Scooby-Doo, there's the, uh... There's the, um, whatchamacallit, game, oh, I remember this place, stupid. Got it first try! Fuck yeah! You're gonna have to blast your way in. Yeah! Oh wait, I gotta go back in, oh damn it. Um, yeah, there's that, there's like costume quests, there's uh, oh fuck it. There's Nightmare Before Christmas, that game, like I played a little bit of that. What? What the fuck was that? I need to focus. <laughs> why? <laughs> why did I go upside down? To divert water pressure from the plaza. It's a spicy meatball of perfection. The hmm. flow of water through a oh. valve. I should press the said what? Button. I don't even think I'm doing this right. What the fuck? 
Don't I gotta start from like somewhere else? Okay, that's flowing through there. That's flowing through there. What the fuck, so? No. Billy, why are you jumping? Calm down. Where are you? What the fuck? A lot of people don't like the Scooby-Doo games. Don't understand. Yeah, I mean, I can understand it. Because at the end of the day, they're all kind of like pretty average platformers they don't really do nothing too crazy at least from what i was looking at like even like even when i looked up a uh, hundred a hundred uh fucking 100 nights of fright even when i looked at that like there were some things that i uh sometimes where i was looking at i was like eh, it's like the side scrolling thing it looks kind of clunky and all that but i'm pretty sure once you get into your hand and play it it'll be fine but I don't know, like, I'll, I'll try any game once, well, um, let me take that back, let me take that back, I won't try any game once, cause, listen, I understand people have their audiences and stuff, but I, I don't like sports games, if I want to play a sport, I go outside and I fucking do it, right, I don't care about sports games, and if you have a racing game that's not like, anything fancy in it or nothing like that, like, I'm not gonna play a fucking Forza Horizon, it's too boring for me, I need something, right? something to entertain me if I want to drive a car I go outside and drive a car I don't need to be speed racer <laughs> for that fulfillment what the hell am I doing what am I doing I'm just fucking around that's what I'm doing right now how about farming sim oh oh don't even get me started on that I fucking love Ruin Factory. It's the best one ever. People love Stardew Valley. Go fuck yourself. I will say, it has its charm and it's great and it's fun. I played it. You know, I gave it a second try. I remember when it first came out, I was I was like, what the fuck? People like this? It's kind of boring compared to everything else. I love that. I love Horace Moon. I fucking love all that shit. Because you know what? At the end of the day, it's just me taking care of my crops. You know? I can't, like... If I wanted to be a farmer in real life, I gotta give up internet and shit. I gotta live in the sticks. And even though I know people who live in the countryside and all that, I won't do all that. I'm a city kid. I'm a suburban slash city kid. Right? I don't wanna have to have a fucking... I don't wanna have to go outside and yell at the cows to get their attention, like, for a day. And if they don't wanna pay attention to me, I'm like, Man, I guess that's it. Wasted my day. I'll get them tomorrow. Cause what are you gonna do? You're gonna force a cow to do something for you? That motherfucker's giant. You gotta get like a whole machine and shit. <laughs> Lives in the stick has internet and 4G. Yeah, but I I mean like I mean like I'm not saying that you can't have good internet in the sticks. It's just like you wanna become like a rancher, you gotta have like a lot of land, and that lot of land has to like not really have much on it, right? You mean giants farming sense? What do you mean? Giants farming sense. Like, like Sim City? Like something like that? Are you like roller coaster tycoon or something like that? Simulator is called farming sim. Oh, you mean? Oh, you mean? You mean straight up just farming simulator? Yeah, fucking. Uh, I played a little bit of that before. I played like what twenty minutes of it, and I was like, I can see the appeal of this, but it's not for me. Now, of course, there are some people who just play it because they're like, I like. I don't mean to shit on anybody or nothing like that. But, you know, there's people who just pick it up and play it because they're like, my favorite YouTuber played this and I'm gonna become famous playing this shit. And it's like, nah, man. Don't force yourself to like a game you don't like. Don't do it. Don't do it. You don't like a game, you don't like it. 
Now, if you're a psychopath like me, right, there are some instances where you don't like a game and you still play it because, because you're just crazy. Like, uh, whenever I, like, I talked about this before, but whenever I, where the fuck am I going? Bentley? I'm Bentley. Murray? We're going up here? Like, I talked about this before. Whenever I get into, like, a new series of games or something, I always try and start from the beginning if I can, possibly. Or, like, the earliest point, so... You know, unless it's, like, too much of a disaster to go back, like, for example, Final Fantasy. If you go back to Final Fantasy 1, you're probably gonna fucking... You're, you're probably gonna kill yourself. <laughs> it's bad. It's not good. It is bad. It was good at the time it came out. I understand it. But it's a bad fucking game. <laughs> Half of the spells don't even work. I'll take the wheel. I know how to drive a stick ship. I need to get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. So you mod the shit out of mine so it has it has plow snows? <laughs> plow snows? You mean snow plow? The plow king? Oh man, I remember that old episode of Simpsons. It was the plow king, king plow, whatever the fuck he called himself. And season that sounds great see if it has like if it has more shit like that that's amazing there's also like other games like beef simulator and shit like that that's fine you know i won't play fucking surgeon simulator though that's just like i have no intention of of like playing that game it doesn't interest me if people like it they like it i'm not gonna judge you for it and trust me i don't you know, you know what's the worst way to sell a game to me personally is if your trailer is, "Do you want to become a famous internet star? Buy and play Surgeon Simulator." And I'm like, "Dude, really? What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Where the f also slides going all the way over here?" Have a good slash bad game. True. Wait, what? You crying streets of L.A. What is it? Is it like a? Is it like a? I'm I'm gonna assume it's like a mystery. Is it like um? How do I fucking? I gotta get up there. How the fuck do I get? Oh wait, yeah. I gotta go the. Gotta go this way, right? All right, Sly. What the hell, man? How do I get up there? There we go. GTA clone, but you're a cop. Was that a PS2 game? And like... Was it a PS2 game and were you like some kind of like Jackie Chan motherfucker? <laughs> you wasn't Jackie Chan, but you were supposed to be like a Jackie Chan type motherfucker? I'm in position. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah, I haven't played it, but I definitely seen someone else play it. And I was... Yeah, it, yeah. It wasn't... It wasn't terrible. A little janky, but like, all right, that was, that sucked. Good job, Sly. I got you guys. Don't worry. But yeah, I, I was gonna say. Oh fuck! I don't got you guys. I gotta like focus a little bit because Sly's not the Shouldn't Murray get out the fucking car and help me? <laughs> now that I think about it, you're the brawn. Get out of here. What are you doing? There's only three at a time. Okay. I thought there's gonna be like more showing up. Bentley, start throwing some bombs or some shit. Ow. Murray, get out of here, help me. Gotta do everything my goddamn self. Oh my god, can you just die? We don't we don't talk about streets of New York. I don't know nothing about that. I didn't know they had a sequel. I know about I know about that and I know about um That was real subtle, What the fuck was the game where you played as a you jumped in feathers and we're out of here? It's, um, it's coming back to me. 
what is it called? What is it called? What is it called? What is it called? Dead to rights. Dead to rights. Dead to rights. Oh, I played Sleeping Dogs. Sleeping Dogs is great. You're in Hong Kong and shit. It's dead to rights. You play as like a cop who was framed and you have like this fucking buddy, like this buddy fucking dog shit. That had like what, four games? Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen, Dimitri. You have no idea birds and bees are free, Dimitri. Anybody can fuck who they want to fuck nowadays. I don't judge. Is it really a sequel to- Is it really a sequel to fucking True Crime? Also, I'm still waiting for them to make that movie for Sleeping Dogs. They haven't cancelled that yet. Like, they casted the guy who was gonna play Wei Shen. No deal. You and the rest of the claw gang Who are you? I'm Wei Shen, motherfucker. Who are you? I was like, oh shit. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can- They announced that like years ago. I think in like 2013. And then like in 2016 they announced the actor who was gonna be Wei Shen. And then you never heard anything after that. Such big thing. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. Oh, let's dance! He said your suit sucks. He's like, oh my god, you're fronting on my drip? That's me. He's like, I'm dripping. Now, Dimitri, I'll be honest, I don't. My man has laser beams. Where was this in slide three? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, I forgot. Yep. It's kind of coming back. Now, I will say, I love Sly Cooper, but their boss fights drag the fuck on sometimes. Like Sly, like Sly 4 fix that shit. And Sly 1 didn't have that much of a problem. Where the fuck? There you go. Are you shooting through pillars? You're shooting through pillars. Got your number, bitch. I gotta, like, kind of focus on this, because Dimitri's gonna... Because Sly takes a lot of damage if he gets hit. I'm safe. Oh, his ring fucking broke. Ah! Bastard. Ah! Does the glass protect me? It does. Oh, no, it does. It does protect me, but it runs out. I'm scared. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's gonna start shooting again? I don't want him to shoot. Shooting's bad. Got him. Yeesh. You take clockwork feathers? And my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. I'm doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You What kind of thief prints money? I would like to point out that the uh that the uh federal what what is it called? Fucking the uh you know place where we get all our money from in the US. That is a personal as a personal owned company that is My not owned by the government I, done it. The clock I want to point that out ours, and I really just like mm? the Federal Reserve that's what it's called Due yeah that is a uh, of that is a private a company that is not government owned Angry at having just they hold all the gold for the countries by the way Shutting down the nightclub and I've been there I've seen it myself
The gang and I headed out of town to Lincoln, maybe Monica. Worse, but it's I figured the team had oh, earned shit. themselves a well-deserved <laughs> The break. longest con. <laughs> if you stay close to him, he doesn't shoot? Oh, wow. That would have been easier than that. Rajan, you beautiful bastard. Nigerian prince. Even though you're not Nigerian, he's Indian, right? The starry-eyed encounter. Oh, shit. Actually. Ugh. Triangle. Go back. I wanna go, I wanna go grab those fucking, uh... Gotta go grab those bottles. I want my upgrade, damn it. Alright, how many bottles do we got? How do I pull that up? We're missing nine. Let's go grab those. Shouldn't be too hard if you listen out for them. You know, there's always that one bottle, though. You know what really sucks? Fucking, I went to, I tried to get, like, a platinum trophy in the first Infamous game, and I have a save file where I found every blast shard except for one, and I can't find it to save my goddamn life. So I'm never getting platinum on that damn thing, ever. It sucks. I don't think there's any bottles over here. There might be, like, just some left on the rooftop, probably one in the corner somewhere. There's the one up here that I wasn't even able to come back to, I think, because it went straight into the, uh, went straight to the cutscene. Didn't care for Infamous? Yeah, I understand that. I understand, I understand if people didn't like Infamous. I will say, Infamous 1 is a little fucky, not gonna lie, because you have your aim reticle, and even though you swear to god that you'll have a character right on it, like, you'll just miss. For no reason. And there are definitely some moments in that game where, uh, where you definitely just call bullshit. Infamous 2 is, Infamous 2 is way better with that. And the, like, the new powers they hand you helps you out a lot. But what I don't understand is people who liked Infamous 1 and Infamous 2 and then you play Second Son, and there are people who just straight up hated everything about it. And I'm like, I don't get it. It improved a bunch of shit. You have more powers. Like, yeah, you're not playing as basic, boring, McWhite bald guy, right? Who's, like, gruff and tough and he's like, my life sucks. The person I love died. I'm from the fucking future. <laughs> right? It's like, instead of that, you have a fucking, you have like a, you have a hipster ass, a comish fucking, uh, what's his name? What's his goddamn name? I, why can't I remember? Voice actor, he's in everything. Troy Baker, there you go. Troy Baker, right? And I understand, like, there's some unlikable things about Delson, but he's not super shitty or nothing. He has more character than Cole ever did. Right? I will say the ending of that game, though, definitely did suck. The, that last boss fight was terrible. Play, play that one where he was <laughs> rat <-tied>. What? <laughs> where he was a rat- Oh, so you're talking about Second Son, yeah. Like, it was fine, but a lot of people were like, that game's a sin against God, and I'm like, what? <laughs> well, you're bugging. It wasn't that bad. Was it as good as 2? Maybe not. You know, but it did fix a lot of things. That was an issue. Overall, they did kind of make it like an easier game, too, because you didn't have to deal with how fucky some of the systems just straight up didn't work. And like two and one. But I think a lot of people just hated it because you weren't playing as Cole. And it's like, it's like, I don't know about you guys, but Cole wasn't that good of a character. Like everyone else around him is what made Cole fun. Because at the end of the day, he's just like, man, I really don't care. What was the name of the game where you turned into the monsters? Uh, where you turned into the monsters? I don't... The only thing I can think of remotely like that for Infamous, if you are talking about Infamous, 
Oh, backtracking on horror games. Okay. Because I know Infamous had a Festival of Blood. That was pretty good. It was a short DLC. It was a short standalone DLC for two. But it was actually really good. All those vampire shit that you had in that. Why didn't they just why didn't they just make a vamp? What is Sucker Punch gonna make a vampire game? Just use what they did in that. Cause that game was that fucking DLC was fun as shit. Uh the suffering ties the bind. Is that the name of the horror game you're talking about? Where you turn into the monsters. I mean there's a lot of games like that. <laughs> I've never heard of that. I've actually never heard of that. Whenever someone talks about like, what's that game where you turn into the monster? I'm, I'm just like, uh, Shadow of the Colossus? <laughs> Why am I taking out my Bendakicom? That's not gonna help me here. Alright, I gotta stop talking for a moment so I can listen out for these fucking bottles. Because how many I have left? I have three. I have to pick up. Oh shit! There's one over here somewhere, I hear it. I think it's on the ground. Oh, here it is. I gotta listen out for this shit. Also, I really enjoy the music of this place. It's so good. I think there might be, like, another one on the ground towards here? Like, towards the theater? Or casino, or wherever the fuck this place is. I think I just heard one. This has something about monsters. What? But it's a sidetrack. What do you mean? Is it like a side mission in the game? Oh, here's the bottle. He <laughs> went off topic, okay. No, it's fine, man. You got some crazy shit you want to ask me? Go ahead, shoot. Go off topic as much as you want. It's good for me. It gives me shit to talk about. What the hell is that? Oh, that just goes back into a level. Okay. Just remembered the game. I've never heard of the game. What's it... What's it about? Speaking of, like, somewhat horror games, what I really need to do, because I think it was, like, in November I did- I started it. Oh. I need to go back and finish Folklore. I have, like, two more chapters in that game to beat, and I just never went back to it. Because I just never felt like turning on my PS3. <laughs> like, that playthrough never got finished. Oopsie. Folklore, that PS3 game that people forgot about. <laughs> oh man. It was pretty good looking for the time it came out. It's really interesting. I wish they would give that game another like another shot. Like try and try and revive that shit. I mean if the world ends with you can do it, so so can folklore. It had a lot of good things in it. Oh fuck! Where is the last fucking bottle? I'm gonna lose my mind searching for this shit. I hear it. Got it. Oh shit! <laughs> He's a folk folk what? Yeah, folklore. It's a PS3 exclusive game made by uh 
made by I think it was made by Sony Interactive. Um, it came out for a uh, it came out for PS3 in like 2006. It had like a demo <laughs> back when you know there were demos for games. It was the one where like you would capture monster souls and shit with like using the fucking gyro controls and the controller. It's pretty good. Like the main game was like a it was like kind of like a the main story was like kind of like a murder mystery going on. It has a lot of like Celtic lore in it and shit. Is this the... Yes. I had to think about it for a moment. I'm like, is this where I'm supposed to be going? For the, uh... For the fucking safe? I think so. I'm going, the, I'm going the right way, right? What the fuck? Okay. This way. Listen to this fucking music. How do you not like it? You know what I really like on the soundtracks that a lot of people don't remember? That's actually really good. It's the first Ratchet and Clank game. Like, it's techno soundtrack is really it's fucking good. Level that, but I believe the code to Dimitri's vault is two, three, one. Two, three, one. Twenty-three is number one. How about that Legend of Zelda, though? Knockout dive. Oh, nice. You've gotten the knockout Oops. Dive move. Uh, how did I do that? There we go. Oh my god, is this Sly Cooper's iconic knockout dive from PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale? God, Sly Cooper was like the worst character in that game. Actually, you know what? Take it back. Jack and Daxter kind of sucked in that game too. Every character sucked in that game to be honest, but... <laughs> but Jack and Daxter really sucked. Like, the most OP characters was fucking Dante and goddamn, uh, well, not Dante, my bad, Dante, from, from DMC, Devil May Cry, and then fucking, uh, and whatchamacallit, Raiden, from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, cause Snake was like, fuck that, I'ma be in Smash Brothers, better game, <laughs> it's a better game. How the fuck do I get out of here? I'll get out of this level. I just exit, right? Save and quit? No. Exit. Yes. This is what? 100%? Yeah, okay, just making sure. I'm not sure if the, if the fucking trophies... Trophies? If the treasure's counted or not. Wasn't sure. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target. A mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He's since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the Clockwork Wings, the symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. 
especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring in prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. Sly Cooper and the gang in. A starry-eyed encounter. How come Sly Cooper hasn't been made into a goddamn like cartoon yet? Why? We need it, especially with the with the art style they did for uh for the animations in Sly 4. That was probably the best part of that whole entire game. I can just watch those all day. All right. How do I save this game, by the way? Keep playing save and quit? Sure, I'll, eh, I don't want to quit, but... This game, does it autosave? Hmm. I think the game auto saves, right? Oh shit! We go grab that bottle. I like to say I really like how they uh, stepped up their game for Sly Two a lot. Like, even just with aesthetics, right? Fucking... This is where we're gonna end up going in the next level, right? Over here. But, um... Just like... In Sly 1 for the swamp area, it was all like green and mucky and like the colors were muted. Here, it's nice and purple and... A little bit of, you know, muted colors of green, but it sticks out like it's goddamn Barney the Dinosaur and it's nice and bright and beautiful. Oh, does this one have a fucking bomb on it? The third section is more than enough time to get it back to base. What we got, Bentley? Alright, combat dodge. I don't even think I use this damn thing. Turnbuckle launch. Heroic kites, press X. What? Oh. Jump to heroic kites. What is that? Hmm. Size destabilizer. So just like a shrink dart, right? Yeah, shrink guards. Now let's get that for, for Murray. I don't know what that is. Combat dodge. Let me see. Oh, I've never used this, actually. This is pretty useful, especially for Sly. Our little glass cannon here. Get one of the Cooper family's greatest do you remember how to spire jump? Bentley, Whenever what the fuck do you think I've been doing this whole time? Jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. I love how Bentley's like, I don't believe you, Sly. Fucking snake. Here another bottle. Is it above me? I think it's above me. And you, my friend, you got something worthwhile in there, don't you? Oh, gold ring. Don't well, mind if I do. It is up there. 
I want that bottle. It's mine. It belongs to me. Really, Sly? Alright, where the hell are we going? Imagine if this game had fall damage. I would cry. What? See, that's that back jump. That's that, oh shit, I fucked up. or something. Let me just get you out of my way, buddy. Here you go. I figured out how to sneak in above the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Alright. Look at this beautiful bottle. Just asking for me. Man, that makes me sound like an alcoholic. I think I gotta turn that off, right? sure we grab these bottles and don't forget it because I'm not going to want to come back here to grab them. I'm going to forget that they're even here. Oh, come on, Sly. What happened to all that momentum you had? I don't even know if I'm supposed to be going this way. Of course I'm not. Bentley, where the fuck am I going? Am I... I go through the... I go through the waterway, right? I thought I had to turn that off first. What the fuck? Bentley, what's going on? Help me, buddy. Oh no, I just gotta get up there to the ledge, to the balcony. You see nothing. I'm stealthy. You see nothing. What the hell? Are you okay? My dog is bothering me. Are you alright? What do you want from me? Why are you... I didn't ask for you to crawl, climb up to me. What are you doing? What do you want? Are you okay? Are you fine? I let you outside, like, before I started streaming. Do you gotta go use the bathroom? Or do you just want to ignore me? You just want to annoy me, don't you? Alright. Get out of here. Stop fighting me. Go sit on the bed. You're fine. You don't need nothing. You ate. You went outside. You're good. She just wanted to bother me. She just wanted to. Oh, what? <laughs> Oops. My bad. All right. What the hell am I doing? Got it, got it, Bentley. I got it. Looks like the wings have been welded onto that statue. They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. Electric wrench. Oh. 
electronic witch. That could be useful. Oh my god, it's the man himself. That's him. Rajan's really pulled out all the stops to impress people with this. Part. I thought Rajan had had like another A in his name. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. Jean Bisson, a member of the Claw Gang and Canadian Shipping Baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. Of course, his name is spelled John in the most jackass way possible. There he is. Another Claw Gang member. Arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. Arpeggio, you little, little beautiful son of a bitch. There she is. Posing for the camera. A high ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. Oh my god! Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. How can Carmelita be undercover? It makes no sense. She pretty much announces who she is every time you see her. She's like, it's me, Carmelita, and yes, I work with Interpol. Mila, another officer undercover. Watch yourselves, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. And that's all the photos It's I also need. crawling with other Bring thieves, Bentley. I'm pretty sure I'm not the top of their priority at this moment. Neela looks weird without her hairpiece. Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of Bentley, do you need new glasses? I don't think the ballroom is crowded. It's just a bunch of cutouts. Although might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armament, but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. All right. All right, Sly, you're up. What we got? Got to go lower the drawbridge, right? I missed this? How did I miss that bottle? I'm hearing another one. Where is it? a bottle over there. I can grab that real quick. See no problem in doing so. Alright. Now where am I going for the drawbridge? Over there? Oh shit! No one see nothing. Oh fuck. Stealthy. I'm a master stealth. Oh shit. Of course. It's up there. And I gotta get up there through there. Alright, alright. I gotcha. Want that bottle. Never mind, I don't want that bottle. 
You can have it. It's yours. I don't need it. is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? E-guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown witch. Got it, Bentley. I was born to do this. Literally. Now if you just move... Mr. Guard, are you not going to move? You're just going to stay there the whole time? Make my life more difficult. Oh my fucking god, this elephant. Are you kidding me? Okay, that seems like a good point. There we go. You have so much stuff in your pockets. Holy shit. I'm just gonna kill you. You made me angry. Shut up. Alright. Where else? There's a bunch over there. Is there anyone closer? I only see three, but they're supposed to be... Oh, it's this guy. Oh, you had... Alright, well, you didn't have much in your pockets. That other guy was just loaded. He's gonna pay more than you. I'll be mad. Oh, shit. that and oh shit oh no it's okay it's fine no it's not it's not okay who's throwing knives at me you got something nice in your pockets Never mind, you got nothing nice in your pockets. You're useless. Disappointing to you. Alright, so there's one there. There's a guy there. Okay. Don't seem too bad. Oh, how the fuck do I get over there? Oh! Can't get you out my way. Did you hear that? You did hear that. Why are you running that way, though? You can use noise to lure this guard from his post. Try ringing that gong and picking his pocket when he returns to his post. Ringing a gong? What the fuck are you on about, Bentley? Oh. Get over here! Need you! It's danger! Why aren't you coming? Where the fuck are you? Oh, that guy's coming, though. That's for damn sure. What happened to the other guy? Oh, I wanted to get him. Damn it. Wait, I can still get him. Oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. It's fine. Everything's fine. Where the hell did this guy go? He just completely- he really like booked it and just- he just left. What the fuck? He just left. <laughs> okay.
I really hope I didn't glitch the game out somehow. Wasn't there another dude around here? Oh, he's down there. Thank you. Where's the other guard? See these bottles, I just want to pick them up. Don't you turn around, you bastard. Your pockets were full of shit. Thank you. There we go. I respond. Alright, cool. I was afraid that I fucking glitched it out or some shit like that. I'm gonna run my ringtail over here. Oh, look at that, a bottle. I want that. You're mine. Give it to me. Beautiful. I'm missing tin now. I can just kind of go on a hunt. But I felt like it. They're mine. Mark that tin as a nine. Take this. Thank you. You saw nothing. You better not leave. You better come back here. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Don't you dare. You get over here. You get back over here to your post. Oh my god, he's running away. What the hell? Oh wait, no, he's coming back. Come on, buddy, just turn around. But he's going back to his little spot. Where he's no help to anyone. Hey, Ethanol, how's it going? Damn it. Alright. Uh-oh. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. No! It's kind of hard to... pick his pockets when this guy's right here snitching on me! Shut the hell up. Oh shit. Nope. You guys are doing mad work. You're doing mad extra. I hope you know that. Been writing tonight, which is probably a mistake. <laughs> How so? Are you are you writing under the influence? Oh fuck. What the hell, Sly? What was that? I should be writing this week, actually. For this... I think I talked about it before, but there's like a... A video I want to make, and I've been writing... For it. And I'm almost done with the writing part, but... I just can't... I just can't take the last couple words I want to... I want to say and like put it on paper. I'm looking for like the best way to present it. Sly, 
going to ring this gong. This guy's going to run over here. Then I'm going to pick his pockets clean. Don't turn around. There we go. Hit me? Oh wait, he's not gonna turn around. Great. Because there's a bottle in here that I want. Got it. Thanks, Sly. Now Murray and I can access the palace grounds. I'm reading what you put here. I want to make it. I want to make it known that I'm reading what you put here, but I have no idea how to say it. Rose <laughs> mixed with poetry, mixed with two in interludes. Interludes. Okay. A critique if you have one off it. Sure, why not? I see no reason not to. I want to let it be known that I'm not the best writer out there, though. Even though, even though, every teacher that I had said that I was a really good writer, I still don't believe them. It was like one of my least favorite things to do. Gotta hit you up on Discord, alright. All right, I got you. Let me just get this guy out of my way. Oh fuck! What the hell, slot? Oh damn it! Really? I landed right in the spotlight, and it did not. Oh, never mind. It did everything. It did everything. Just give me a moment. Am I supposed to be going this way? I am. All right. Let me see. Uh, how do I do this shit? That is a that is a long button. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> I turned around and my dog was right there, just like sneaking up on me. What the fuck? Hello. Discord. Chill out with your bullshit. Thank you. That'd be lovely. I gotta make like a Discord or some shit at some point. I should be doing that. I just never have time to really like do any of that stuff. Did not mean to press enter. Wow, fuck. Thanks a lot, keyboard. Being a jackass. I'm not even typing the right shit here. That's the worst part about it. I meant to press shift. Where the fuck is my shift key? My room is so goddamn dark that I can't even see what the hell I'm doing. What is this? Is it? There it is. Don't forget that Discord is fucking caps locked like a motherfucker. I do own a RGB keyboard, but I don't like it. Also. It was like a mechanical keyboard, so it made a lot of noises, and I just, whenever I do do anything on PC, I don't like having the, you know, the clickies go into my microphone. People hear me clicking about, right? So I switched it out for like a pretty boring, dull, like flat keyboard. But I like it though. It's also a big keyboard, so. Hello, I'm here for the dance. 
Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You gotta talk to Sorry, you. sir, but we have a dress code. Uh, no. Gotcha. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. What you mean, no tux? I'm handsome as is, buddy. Sorry, Sly. You I don't totally need no tux. I'm sexy. Wait, what was Sly's plan? He's like, I'm gonna go in incognito, right? Wearing his usual attire. Of course you should have a tux, just straight up. Discord, if you don't get out of my face, you're bullshit. Send me over that, that JPEG, PNG, whatever the hell you send me over. Alright, what are we doing, Sly? We are... Steal the tuxedo. Got it. Just don't mind me. Making my way through. Alright, got it. Once I head to the area, I'm gonna check it out. I want this bottle. Only missing a couple. Only missing seven more bottles, and then I got my shit that I want. There we go. Now, where am I going? Oh, it's down there. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Cool. Alright, it isn't short. Oh, shit. Okay, Bentley. I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? Oh, well... I recommend searching all the rooms. It's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. What do I look for inside the rooms? This isn't an exact science. Ransack the place until you find part of a tuxedo. Any plan which involves ransacking is okay with me. What the fuck? can't open the file on my goddamn phone. I gotta do it on my computer. Give me a second. I'll check it real quick. I hate opening Discord on my fucking computer. Do I have my... Do I even have my desktop muted? I do. Don't want none of that. None of those annoying ass sounds coming through. Oh wait, don't I gotta fucking log in and shit? My password and all that crap? Or am I already in? I should already be in. Alright, I am already in. Alright. Let me see. Open that file. Alright. I'm just gonna scroll down real quick, just see how long it is. Oh, it's not, it's not too long. I will, you know what? In the stream, I'll check it. Because I don't want to stop in the middle of the playthrough. But I will check it. We'll see, I will send feedback. So by the morning's time, well, technically it is the morning for me. But by morning's time, you will have feedback. Definitely do it before I do anything else after this. Oh shit! You die. Not all of the guests are. So be on careful look out for problems. I don't want any bad press from this event. Let's see. Oh, it's these guys up in here. He'll be asleep before I go dark. Don't worry, I'll I'll send a I'll send a message through Discord. On the feedback. You know? That way it's also, like, safer, right? So I don't... So I don't, like... You know, so I don't, like, say all your shit in the stream. Because don't forget, this is all going up on YouTube at some point. I don't think I need to knock these guys out, do I? And not every room has a tuxedo part in it, I think?
What the fuck did I just do? Oh, there's a bottle. Treat as both? Gotcha. Got it. As long as you're not asking me to to treat it as a haiku, because I'm be honest, I suck at haikus. <laughs> I don't think there's anything in here. I'm just gonna whisk on by. There we go. Gotcha. I guess this is just the easier way to sneak about up in the rafters. You All might right. need to use your stealth attack in here. Remember, the yeah, I hear you I hear you, Bentley. Is it in the closet? What where the fuck? Bentley, where are these where are these clothing parts at? I thought they would just be like shining in the room or something, just like sitting there. Do I actually gotta like break shit and go through? What the fuck is that noise? It's like this beeping noise I hear. Is it like a tracker or some shit? A lot of typos because you were trying. That's fine. I don't. I don't take typos into a. When when you're writing like a rough draft and shit like that, it's rough for a reason, right? You fix typos later. Like if you looked at the shit that I wrote for uh, the video that I want to make, like there's a bunch of typos in that shit. I just hope that I find them all before I, uh, before I fuck it up. <laughs> So I'm stealing Rajan's tux? Is that what's going on here? Shut up. Giving away my position, you snake. Bentley, wait, where the hell am I supposed to be getting these parts at? Oh, it is in the closet. Okay, got it. I stole this man's shoes. I really did him dirty like that. Said, I'll take your shoes. It's like if you saw the first Friday after they knock out what's his name, Debo? <laughs> Whatever the fuck his name was? I don't remember. After they knock him out, the crackhead comes in and he like takes his shoes, and you're like, what the fuck? Oh, there's no way I'm taking you all out in stealth. It's not happening. Yeah, I gotta fight all of you. Ow! Mother... Son of a bitch. I'm really robbing this man's clothes. I'm taking his drip. It's unnecessary. There's nothing in there, though. I'm breaking his tub, too. Would there be anything in like his in their closets? No? I guess only the dressers, right? And <laughs> Goku will never have drip. What? <laughs> Goku. I'm lost on that. <laughs> what? I mean you say listen, Goku may never had drip, but you can't lie, when they went to go get their uh their driver's license, Piccolo had the meanest drip ever. My man had a snap back. He had it backwards, too. Oh, shit. I know it's not a smart idea to fight you head on. 
but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Did it. I'm a come from. Oh fuck. You know what? Stealth mode activate. <gasps> I thought he was still running this way. You over here. He's going to hear that. I'm moving. I'm going. Stealth mode. Piccolo will never. <laughs> He is the only real talk piccolo is the only black character you know what actually listen we don't count gt actually you know what isn't he isn't he canon and super now i'm not sure i haven't watched it but oob other than that you got oob and then there's what like fucking from the old dragon ball you have nam he's like indian or something and let's be honest if, if tn wanted to be black tn can be black too he just chooses not to be Listen, I'll give I'll give Tim the impasse. He can have it. <laughs> Tien's so gangster that he's all like, "Fuck, I'll risk my life too." <laughs> For no payoff. Tien's so cool. Tien is cool. I wish we did more with Tien. Yamcha can just ride in hell. I don't like him. A lot of people like Yamcha for the main, I just don't like Yamcha. He he betrayed me. When I was a kid, I played, like, the Budokai game, like, the first one on the PS2. And it was before I really knew that much about, like, Dragon Ball. And then fucking, I was like, who's this guy, Yamcha? He looks like Goku, but his hair is longer, he has a scar, he looks pretty cool. And he fucking sucked. I hate Yamcha. <laughs> Ever since that day, I hated Yamcha. I was like, you suck. It was also disappointing because I'm like, what is this? He has this... I'm looking at his move list and it's all like, Wolf Fang Fist? That sounds cool as shit. And it's nothing. It's, ju it's just... And he scratches you. I'm like, what? Fucking loser. I will say the Spirit Ball is cool though. Well, how come Goku doesn't have the Spirit Ball? He has the Spirit Bomb. Having a mini, having having a mini spirit bomb and like moving around—that's pretty cool. All right, how the fuck am I gonna? You know what? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get rid of the big guy first. I'm gonna steal this shit while well, I'm at it. Some of the shit you say is fucking disgusting. Oh, trust me. Trust me. You gotta. Sometimes you just gotta own it. Sometimes you gotta be like, yeah, I said that, so what? I still say wiggly wiggly whack. <laughs> Where the fuck? Oh, it's in other shit too. Okay. I'm like, what the hell's going on? Why can't I find it? Alright, well. Guess I'll check the other rooms again. Just start breaking everything. There we go. The bow tie. Is there anything else in here? I broke a sink. Dresser already. I will take that, thank you. I got the shoes from her John's room, so I don't think I need to go back to that. Just came out of that room. That leads to her John's room, I think, right? Right? Yes, it does lead to her John's room. Damn, yeah, shut up. Shut up, Bentley. Shirt. What 
the fuck is wrong with my dog? Why do you keep doing this? Every time I stream, any other time, you don't do this. But every time I stream, you just slowly, like, commando crawl your way towards me. It's only when I'm streaming. What do you want from me? Probably the most proud the line. Well, the I'm not going to read the line, because I'd rather be surprised. I'd rather look at it unbiased. So I'm not going to read that. I refuse to. You can't make me. I won't. Now let's get the hell out of here. Head to my ballroom dance. I got a, I got a sweet date with a foxy lady. Both metaphorically and literally. I have no idea why I jumped on that. Thought I was gonna start flying. Oh, I was hoping Sly can grab the ledge. Damn it. Yep, that wasn't supposed to happen. You got your tuxedo now, sir? Of course I do. I'm here to dance. Then come on in. Now that's the that's the worst screening for any dance ever. Not even where's your invitation? It's you got a tuxedo? You wanna dance? Sure. Man, I'm a suave ass looking motherfucker. Look at me. No one would recognize me in this outfit, especially with the fucking mask over my face. The only problem is she's picky about dance partners, so you'll need to impress her first. You really wish I was just reading it right now. I can't. Can't interrupt the playthrough. You look lovely this evening. I'm sorry. Do I know you? I used to chase after you back in Paris. Paris? Sly Cooper? You aren't by any chance here to turn yourself in. Old Ironsides would fall out of her dress. As good as that sounds, how about a dance first? Enchanté. Ooh, enchanté. Alright, let's see if I can do this fucking... Try to memorize the steps. Now your turn. This dumb shit puts a smile on my face every goddamn time. Yes, I am. <laughs> Today on Who Made Me a Furry? Well, the answer to that is fucking Space Jam. I can't blame anybody for being a furry at this point, you know? Me, I don't view myself as a furry. But all I know. Growing up watching Space Jam, they threw Lola Bunny there, heavily yes. sexualized. I was like, hmm. I was like, what's going on here? That fellow is very graceful. After Lola Bunny, listen, if Lola Bunny, you can't. As well. um, even if you're not a furry, you can't. You can't fucking. You can't fight that. Especially if you watch anime after that. <laughs> now you got shit like B stars, where like even if you're not a furry, you're like, why are they all so sexy? Lovely.
Oh, fuck. Thank you. That Ooh. was delightful. Thank you, Constable. That wasn't hard, but... After all, <laughs> it takes two to tango. Trying yes. to do some memorize by talking about stupid class. shit. Mila, your friend here is quite an accomplished dancer. I tried to make him look good. You sound jealous. Please, Mila. His skills far surpass you. Oh! Perhaps later you and I... Why you gotta... Dance. Why you gotta hurt her like that? Miss Fox. Carmelita Fox. Yo, really, Mila? She came at your neck for no reason. She said, please, bitch, you can barely dance. I was like, oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Unnecessary. You really came after her neck for no reason. Oh, my God. What the fuck, Carmelita? Like, calm down, girl. Like, uh, cat fight. Fucking meow. <laughs> Yeah, but like, can you really blame anybody for being a furry at this point? Like, we've already, we already failed as, as a race. As a human race, we failed. <laughs> Especially when you got shit like, what, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? They're like, here's Jessica Rabbit, she's fucking married to a rabbit. I never, I never liked Jessica Rabbit anyways. Let me, let me take that back. I was never attracted to Jessica Rabbit. I know a lot of people who grew up attracted to that. I like her as a character though, cause she was like, she took no shit. That, that doesn't look right. That looks like you're poisoned in the water hole. Somebody poisoned the water hole. Oh fuck. Oops. How the fuck do I get up there? Oh fuck. How do I get up there as Murray? Guess I go the long way? Oh shit. Just gotta go through. There you go. That chopper is a menace to all future aerial operations while on this job. Yeah, it's all covered in missiles and guns and stuff. Now be a team player and take it out with that rusty pre-war turret. Okay, I had a potato gun once. I bet it works just the same. What the fuck? <laughs> I love how Bentley just knows that he's sending Murray on a suicide mission. Oh, come on, Murray. Damn it. Could have grabbed the ledge. Son of a bitch. Where am I going? I'm going this way? Where the fuck am I going, actually? Actually. Let me head this way instead. Get more height. Oh shit. Oh, come on, Murray, get up. Now, where the fuck am I going? I'm going that way. Gotcha. Hit buttons fast. I don't just mash everything. Oh shit. God, this control is freaky. It's kind of hard to shoot the chopper when the missiles are all coming at me and shit.
god, there's no like, there's no targeting reticle or anything. No crosshair? Jesus fuck. This fucking chopper takes so much damage. It's not even funny. Oh, that's gonna hit me. This is not easy. This is not easy. At least give me like a couple more shots to work with. It also doesn't help that like like, one of the aiming axes are inverted. That really sucks. Oh, fuck. Come on, Missile, you're on some shit right now. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, no. I should just shoot the chopper, but I don't want to. I don't want to get hit. down you bitch god <laughs> for fuck's sake this game is super old school it is <laughs> also hey Trenly Tren eh. Trenly Tren how you want me to pronounce it I can't do it I can't do it I'm sorry I apologize all right boys we're ready for the next phase my plan Trenly. to get at the clock right? wings requires Tren the use of the electric Trenly. winch above the ballroom to get control over the device, I'll need to hack the computer. Just lay? Thank you. <laughs> when we say Lee or Lay, because you did say, because you did say that your your name isn't Lee. That's like the more Americanized version of it. And finally, I'll take to the field with my remote control helicopter and nullify the palace's okay. surface-to-air defenses. The last one was all right. Thank you. Up for the heist. I try my best. Only my best. Don't quote me on that. Let's just stay with Lee, lest we create confusion. Got it. All right, do I even have shit to sell? Bentley. We got gold rings, stuff, 400, fist of flames, size to stabilize it. You don't really need those. That's fine. All right. What we got? We have nothing for... Oh, we only got Bentley. All right, cool. Bentley! Get out there and do your worst. How the fuck am I even going to get up there as Bentley? Oh, wait. The drawbridge, duh. That's why I did all that, because they can't do the spire jumps or nothing. Am I taking out the bridge? I am taking out the bridge. 
That shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, Bentley. Bentley, what's your status? I'm in position with the RC chopper. All systems are go to neutralize their surface to air defenses. We're going to need free reign of the sky during the heist. Well, be careful. Chopper parts aren't cheap. Hostile has been sighted. Hey, Bentley, use the left analog stick to steer the chopper and hit the X button to drop bombs. Lose track of the team. Right. I'll project a holographic targeting arrow. Follow it back into the action. Now, what do you say to drop bombs? I was not paying X. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh my fuck! I hate these fucking sections. Like your turn radius is like it's like butter or some shit, and not like the good butter, like the one that slips and slides in the pan. Come on, you can do it. I also moved a little too fast. At least it goes into like a like a preset preset a fucking what's where I'm looking for a route. Come on! I'm trying to lead the bombs. Oh, you don't really need to lead them, huh? They kinda lead themselves. It's launching missiles. Turn hard. Oh shit. Turn hard to dodge him. That's that'll be fine. It's not hard to do. I already turned hard by default. Oh shit! It's so difficult. <laughs> Got the drop shadow. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. I can do it. I'm a winner. That's alright, make fun of me all you want, I don't care. <laughs> don't bother me. Fucking drop the bomb, Bentley! Oh, fuck. I haven't been hit yet, though. That's gotta count for something. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, where are you going now? You're going a complete direction. Oh, shit. Where are you going? Are you going to my hideout? <laughs> I thought he was about to crash into the car. Son of a bitch. Gotcha. Nice flying partner. That jeep's out of commission and will have clear. Turn hard by default, is that what you tell your dates? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I wonder what that reaction would be. I bet they would probably love that reaction too. Listen. I'm not... Listen. I'm as straight as an arrow. But... I'm not opposed to telling the dude that he's handsome. Why lie to myself, right? Like, even... You can be the straightest guy on the universe. But even you have the ability to be like... Be like, man, that, that's one handsome-ass dude. Where the fuck? Oh, that's for Sly. Okay, cool. Bentley, you did your job. I thought I would have to... Bomb the fucking bridge. I guess not yet. Yeah, exactly, right? You just, you know. Listen, I can get a little jealous whenever girls are like, I'm looking for my Taylor Lautner type. And it's like, whatever. He may be, he may be more handsome than me. But he don't got the goods. He ain't got the, he ain't got the bite to back up the bark. At least that's what I like to tell myself. Before I go home and cry in my shower. Sometimes. 
sometimes. I I know I'm not that good. But I have to tell myself. I am like, oh shit. Nope. Nope, you saw nothing. Where the hell is that bottle that I'm hearing, by the way? Is it on the bridge? Oh, what do you got in your pockets, buddy? Well, that gold ring. I'll take that, thank you very much. Now, how the hell do I get up here? I think I just make the jump, right? Yeah, I can make that. Come on, Sly. There you go. Oh, what the hell? I'll try that again. Get over here. Son of a bitch. Alright. I can make it. Just, you know? Gotta do like a squirrel. Aim your head in the direction you want to go. And twist your whole body. Oh, I only got three left. I'll find them. I'll find them in due time. Elephant Rampage. Got it. They're probably like on the ground or something. I think one of them is like in a... In like a little tunnel way, if I remember correctly. Hello, sir. Goodbye. I think I just heard one. I think I just heard a bottle. Did I not? Is that the sound of a bottle, or is that... Is it below me? I think it's below me, actually. Gotcha. I hear another one, too. Alright, I'm missing one. I might as well get it, right? I don't even know where the safe is at. <laughs> that shower part hit too close to I didn't I didn't see that there <laughs> you know sometimes you just gotta go home I say that a lot I never actually do it but I remember uh when I used to work in a restaurant a lot of people would I would work until like until like um like three in the morning right like cleaning up the restaurant and stuff after the after the shift is over doing that over time but um after that people would always try to invite me to like go out and drink and i'm like I'm like man fuck you i'll see you tomorrow i like i got another shift tomorrow and i'm gonna be here until like three in the morning again i'm not going out to drink are you crazy but yeah people would ask me like why i'm like because i gotta go home and cry in my shower and think about my life that's why i think about why i'm doing this shit That was always my excuse. But the real answer was, I'm too tired for that shit, man. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you crazy? Three o'clock in the morning. Also, like, in New York, three o'clock in the morning, where the fuck are you gonna go to... What bar are you gonna go to? All bars close around three in the morning. So, like, what's your, what's your plan? <laughs> Former chef here, I got you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, what's your plan, man? And I'm not going to your house and drinking, like, Coronas. It's not happening. <laughs> We're not doing that. I'll see you at work. Catch me on a day when I'm, when I'm not working. Which at that time was like... Was never any day. No more work hours, any shit. <laughs> Hold up, fuck. Am I still being chased? From the working hours. <laughs> and you got the shifts in? Yeah, get out of here with that. <laughs> I remember when, uh, even before I worked at, like, 
the restaurant. Fucking, um... Like, after my first job, which was, like, retail, uh, I stacked, like, you know, I stacked some shelves here and there from time, like, stacking stuff off the pallet. And, uh, what am I supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to be stealing shit from this elephant, right? Break elephants out of the pen. Out of the pen. What? Oh. I forgot what I was doing for, like, two seconds. But, um... I would, uh, I would stack shelves and shit. And, you know, with that, we had, like, a nice little union. But, almost, like, every night, someone would be like, Hey, man, we got a couple left. Uh, someone left early or some shit. You gotta help us finish this. And I'm like, listen, I respect you. I ain't gotta help you do shit, though. My union says I'm leaving at four. I'm leaving at four. I'm not staying here. I did my job. I cleared out. I did my job and more. It's four o'clock. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm going home. What the hell? What are you... Oh. Here we go. Just do you a favor, consider the prelude, the interlude, and such anything you can offer. Let me take a picture of that, actually. While I'm reading that at the moment, let me take a picture of what you just said so I can remember that shit. So I don't forget that. I gotcha. If you send someone a whole area, that's a management problem, not an employee problem. <laughs> exactly. I remember also in that same job where I would like stack shelves and stuff. Fucking stack shelves, that doesn't make sense. You know what I mean. But, um... Sure I remember like the first week of me working there the first week of me working there it was kind of hilarious because you know uh, not even the first week like first month or so right and my dog is like slowly crawling out to me what do you want you only do this when I stream stop I love you but you don't need anything you're just being needy oh shit that's what happens. That's what happens when you bother me during my stream. I almost get crushed by an elephant. Now what the hell am I doing here? Am I stealing shit? Think I'm breaking these off its head or something? What am I doing? Got it. Am I taking all three of those? Yes, I am. But, um... Like, it was the first couple of months of me working there. And... <laughs> And, like, the guy who hired me, you know, because I would do the night shift for it. I love my night shifts. Um, the guy who hired me was like, oh, how you liking it here so far? It's that second and third, you know. One of those things where, like, your boss asks you, well, he wasn't my boss, but, you know, where management asks you a question, it doesn't really matter how you answer because they don't really care. But <laughs> he asked me, and I was like, yeah, everything's good. It's fine. Uh, you know. I'm used to it and stuff like that. I have no complaints or nothing. Everyone's pretty chill. People have been helping me out, uh, learning some shit if I didn't know it. Right? And then, <laughs> I said, yeah, everything's fine besides, like, this one thing. Whoever's in charge of the payroll doesn't really know what how to do their own fucking job. I said it just like that. I was like, yeah, they really don't know how to do their own fucking job. I'm never getting paid on time. And sometimes, I'm not even getting the amount I'm supposed to be getting. Like, what the hell? And then he's like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll check that out or whatever, right? And it's like, cool. Little did I know, right? <laughs> Little did I know that once he went home and my shift, like, started once everybody left, uh, the guy who's, like, in charge of the night crew, he's all like, oh, whoa, whoa, what was you and, uh, what's-his-face talking about? I'm not gonna say his name just to protect him. But it's like, he's like, what was you and what's-his-face talking about? I was like, oh, he was just asking me stuff like that, and I told him this. And he's like, you know he's in charge of payroll, right? And I was like... Oops! <laughs> I went, really? Damn! Well, guess I gave him a piece of my mind then. Oh shit. Didn't mean for that to happen. 
it was just really funny because he's like, dude, you did not say that to him. And I was like, yeah, I did say it to him just like that. Why? What's the problem? He's like, you know, he's in charge of it, right? I'm like, oh, <laughs> oops. And then everybody was like, you know what? Good thing you said it to him because be honest, he really don't know what the fuck he's doing anyways. <laughs> and I was like, exactly, right? That was a, that was a real, that was like a real moment for me. I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> That really sucked. <laughs> it didn't really suck because he never he never brought it up. He never brought it up ever. But all I know is after that date, I got my paychecks on time, got everything I was owed. You know? After that day, no problems. Oh shit. Oh no. Am I dead? Did that kill me? That killed me. I got squashed. Fucking. <laughs> Someone's got to tell him. Hey. Someone does. Usually, I'm not like someone who tries to be confrontational enough. Then, like, I won't, I won't sugarcoat it, but I wouldn't go as hard as that, right? I'll just be like, "Listen, man, I'm not really getting my stuff on time. What, what's going on? Right? I'll, you know, something like that." But that one was just like, I thought I was just shooting the shit with the guy. I was like, yeah, whoever's in charge of that shit really don't know how to do their job. Like, what the hell, man? I don't get it. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I gotta do this all over again? Aw, oh, damn it. It's more difficult than it seems. God, Bentley, don't worry. Now I know not to mess up. Oh shit. I was about to get squashed again. How the fuck? I gotta cut you off or something. Come on, you can make it. Nope, nope, not making it. I wish I had my paraglider. You don't get that till like later on. Oh, you can get squashed by that, I think. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let that happen. Jump too early. Thank you. I will take that. You got all the jewels off that elephant. Now focus on the other one. Oh shit. I'm out of here. Away. Wait, you're not this you're not the elephant I'm looking for. Where's the elephant? I don't mind getting squished by some thick thighs. I agree with that. That is a Hey man. That's why I can't wait for for Resident Evil 8 to come out. Am I right? Oh shit. I can make it. Got it. Ow. Elephant's gonna kill me. You're gonna, you're gonna turn back around, right? Nope, you're not going that way. Got it, got it. Just so that we're clear. I gotta find somebody. I gotta kill somebody and take their health like a vampire. And suck their life essence. It'll do. It'll get me health, right? Of course you will. Thank you, buddy. I love you. You're my favorite. <laughs> he said, "Am I right?" You're damn right. There's that. What was I? What was I saying earlier? That remind me of Resident Evil 8. Oh yeah, I was talking about how in like Sly 3, like <laughs> they do some freaky shit with Carmelita where they make her like super giant, and it's like you gotta, you gotta climb up the giant Carmelita and take her out. And I'm like, huh? I'm like, hmm. I like tall women, but my man, he made her humongous. Not only that the game giganticized her, but, she, you know, she's also a furry. 
just hitting all the checkboxes. Why the hell did I need these diamonds anyways? Or rubies or whatever the hell they are? You can make a what, Bentley? You said a rail? What, what the fuck are you trying to do, Bentley? Where's my next destination? Uh, oh. Boardroom Brawl. Got it. I'm missing one bottle, right? Let me look for that. It's only one, right? Can't be. Can't take that long to get it, right? Excuse me, coming through. I think it might be over here. I just have a feeling. should be like hiding out over here and you're like yep I hear it already where are you, you down here I hear you I don't see you oh there you are you beautiful you beautiful devil you come to me all right I don't know where the safe is at. I'm gonna assume it's in Rajan's place? It should be in his room. I mean, if I was gonna put, like, a safe somewhere, it would be in my room, right? Or, like, behind a painting or some shit? Oh, what do you got? Don't mind if I do. Thank you, buddy. Moving on. Um. Don't turn around, don't turn around, you bastard. Look at that fucking epic roll. Oh shit. Rajan's room is this way, right? Oh shit. you again. I guess you- I guess there isn't a safe in here. Maybe it's, um, maybe it's in the ballroom. My dog really just, like, sat- not sat on me, but she came and sat next to me and just went to sleep. This is the only time she ever does shit like this. It's only when I'm streaming. Any other time I'll call her over, I'll be like, Come here. I want to pet you. I want to love you. And she's all like, Bitch, pet yourself. Love yourself. Don't love me. What breed is she? She is a Chihuahua. Chihuahua mix. All the dogs I have now, I have, I have two dogs. I have her, and then I have her son. Other than that, I'll, like, take care of other people's dogs from time to time, like pit bulls and stuff like that. First dog I ever had was a Siberian Husky. And nobody wanted to pet her, even though she was the most awesomest dog ever. They were like, nah, man, that's a wolf. I'm not touching that. And I was like, she's not a wolf. She's a Husky. And I loved her, and she was beautiful. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Ow! All right. Fucking this guy's like a cyborg or something. He's like target locked on. Yeah. On um, if you want to see a picture of them, of the of the two dogs, they're fucking uh, on my YouTube like community tab. I put pictures of them from time to time. I think I have a recent picture of them up there. 
Because sometimes they just, you know... They're just on some shit. Also, like, uh, the, um... The emotes I got on my... On my Twitch, like, those are all, uh... That's, like, one of the dogs. That's Zero. Actually, I can put up a picture of Zero right now. I think I still have it on my OBS. I don't think I ever took it off. There he is. That's one of them. That's Zero. He's a jackass, and I and I hate him. I think I I think I talked about this before, like a um a uh, a story with him that in my my good old high school days, it was a girl that I liked, brought her over, and he completely super cock blocked the hell out of me in the worst way possible by uh by by discreetly like a thief in the night. Just walked up to her Uggs that she had laying there. He just walked up to them and he said, I'm just gonna relieve myself here. Tuck a piss all over her shoes. And it's one of those things where it's like your instinctive reaction is to be like, No! Right? You also want to like run and like tackle his ass or something. Because you're like, don't do that! But it's all like, you can't do that in front of the girl you like because then they're going to think that you hate your dog. But at the same time, you can't freak out either, because then she's going to freak out. <laughs> so I just had to, had to be like, listen, I got to talk to you. Real talk. You're going to hate this. My dog pissed all over your shoes. <laughs> and then she promptly got up and said, I'm going to head home now. And I was like, yeah, you do that. <laughs> I wasn't, I didn't say it like that. I was all like, I'll walk you home. She's like, no, I'm good. And I was like, oh, my heart. Like, we was chill after that. We still hung out and shit like that. But that was like, that was the biggest cock, cock block moment ever. It's like, come on, man. Really? What the fuck is your problem? And he's a, he's a good dog. You know, I know a lot of people say that shit. Like, my dog's a good dog, right? Meanwhile, their dog will go ape shit. But, um... He's a good dog. He's just a jackass, and he knows he's a jackass, too. Where the hell is the... Oh, I gotta go over there. Okay. I'm still looking for, um... I was looking for the safe. I could have sworn I can, like, go back up there, and the safe would be in there, but I guess it's not. It's gotta be somewhere else in the level. Maybe it's in this room. And he hates you too. I know he does. He's over there in that fucking. He's in his cage right now. His cage is open. He's just sitting in it. He's looking at me. Alright. Murray's rotund features prevent him from fitting through the drain pipe, so we'll need you to unlock the ballroom from the inside. I've heard through a reliable source that the guards keep the vault combination written beneath one of their break tables. So you want me to crawl under each till I find it? That's the idea. Got it, Bentley. Just leave it to me. They don't call me Sly Cooper for nothing. I was going to attack them, but they're too close to each other. I don't see any code. Try another table. It's here somewhere. I'll find this code. It's the last thing that I do. Attention, ballroom guards. Allow no guests enter into the inner workings of the palace. Oh, I thought he was going to drop some health or something. I need that. And I don't want my flawless credit. No code here. Come here, big boy. I love you. Oh! I messed up! Oh, shit! You can't attack me if I'm under the table. Haha. You come here. There you go. Ooh, health. I'll take that. Oh, shit. Is that Ryan? Let 
Bentley, I'm going to be honest with you. You definitely don't expect me to remember this shit because I'm going to forget it just as fast as I saw it. But hey, Ryan, how's it going? Oh, by the way, the whole uh, playthrough for uh, for uh, Batman Arkham Origins is on the channel. I still have to do uh, I still have to do the bonus episode for that, like finishing all the side quests, and then later on at some point do the uh, DLC for that. But for the most part, like as in the main oh fuck, as in the main story and shit, all that's on the YouTube. The first part is on the first part is reluctantly on the PS3, so it runs like shit. But then after that I, I did um I played it on the PC, so it's 60 frames. No, now that I got to play that game at 60 frames, it's not as it's not as bad as I remembered. Still not my favorite. But it's not bad. Also, nice. Here's the safe I was looking for. Eight five seven. Gotcha. 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 Seven's this way. What's my prize? Insanity strike. Oh, that just makes them like confused and shit. Eh, I barely use that. Oh, you see me play course party? Fucking <sighs> tomorrow. I'm gonna tomorrow. I plan if everything goes as planned. Tomorrow I plan on doing more consumption, and then the day after that, do like another chapter of a uh, book of shadows. But the teachers one was really interesting, how they did that, because it has nothing to do with like, has, as far as I know, it has nothing to do with with what's going on at the moment in the story. But it's interesting because it's all like, oh shit, you was marked even before the first game. Like okay. I'm in. Hacking the level six barrier. Yeah, it does throw more questions. Also, the thing that got me... The one thing that got me was like, wait a minute. How... Like, how is the old lady supposed to be, like, a good guy if it, if, if I mess up one of the... When I mess up one of the, um, options or whatever, it says that she's the one that kills me. I'm like, how is she randomly a good guy now? What's what's going on? What's with that? Because she still uses the same descriptors as she did when, uh... Like, if you get... Like, she doesn't say it's the old lady, but she uses the same descriptors as she does for the old lady. But for, uh... For the, um, teacher, she uses different descriptors. I gotta stay near Bentley. I don't want him to get Sly. Get the hell out of my way. Damn, Sly, you're fucking him up over there. Almost got it. Okay, going for level three. I got this. Is this it? This the last guy? Nope. There's more over there. He really poked the shit out of Sly with that one. This guy came in here with a, with a torch. Oh no, Bentley! I'm sorry. I'm so close. Yes. We'll fucking finish it, Bentley. That was off of one hit, by the way. I think Bentley got hit once and it did all that health. Sly, you're just standing there. Do something. Bentley, start throwing some bombs or something. I know you got bombs in your backpack. Start throwing them. Defend yourself a little bit. Help me out. Oh, he's setting Sly on fire over there. Oh, God. Oh shit. Oh good shit, Sly. Thank you. Thank you for that one. You done, Bentley? Holy fuck. I've got control of the 
Alright. Now Thanks I can read the chat. No problem. Me and the big guy had it Let's see. Murray. Did I beat RE4? In that stream, it's not it's not on the VODs no more, but I do have it downloaded. I should upload I should upload it this week. There's a lot of other things I gotta I gotta like edit out. Like a video that I'm still working on. But um on that on that stream I did beat it. It wasn't meant to be a playthrough, it was just meant like you know, cause that night we watched the uh that night we watched the Resident Evil like showcase, then we played a then we played the visual demo, whatever the fuck they called it. Then I was just playing um RE4 so I can unlock the special costumes and stuff. Alright, so at some point I am gonna be revisiting that game, probably before eight comes out. Uh, just so I can have it there because on my channel I do have RE2 and RE3 Remake both done. So. And since RE8 is very heavily influenced on RE4, gonna play that, why not? But on that stream, we did beat it. The old lady is an interesting character, yes. Gotta remember her if I tend to continue to play Corpa. Oh, I do, trust me. Like... It's a, it's a little difficult to like keep. How how's the word? How do I how do I word this? I'm loving Corpse Party. There's nothing about it that I like hate or anything like that right now. But um, doing like Conception and then doing Corpse Party and then at the time I'm supposed to be doing Clanade, but I had to put that on the back burner because it's like technically. I'm streaming nothing but visual novel games, and to be honest, at some point it gets a little tiring. Um, and at this point, I planned I planned on being done with the Book of Shadows by this point, but as you can see, that hasn't that hasn't happened. I'm still doing it, and I do want to get back to the last Phoenix Wright game because Phoenix Wright one and two, I loved it so goddamn much. It was really great, and I do want to get back to uh, what's it called trials and tribulations. Uh, trials and tribulations. So, so maybe what I wanted to do was keep playing Corpse Party. Like once I finished Book of Shadows, just instantly replace that with Hachiko's Birthday Bash and stuff like that. Hachiko, Sachiko, my bad. Sachiko's Birthday Bash and stuff like that. But I might take a break and do a uh, Phoenix Wright instead and then go back to corpse party because i have i have all the games that they had on steam right and whatever whatever i need to replace i'll find it i just i just really like i still have the fucking the phoenix right hd collection downloaded and i'm like man i just want to get to it so bad so i'm not sure I'm not sure how I'll continue with that. And I'm only doing Sly- To be honest, the only reason I started doing Sly Cooper right now is because I need I needed something to like put a smile on my face. Like for the past couple of weeks, even like the past two days, fucking I just been dealing with a bunch of bullshit. And I'm like, I just need a feel good game. I should be playing like Final Fantasy VII right now, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, so where the hell am I going? Bentley, now you gotta take out the bridge. Good job, good job. Gotcha. I'm so hyped for RE8. I can't wait for it. I can't wait for it so bad. I want I want it. Why did I choose Murray if I needed Bentley? Why did I do that? Three. The visual novels won't happen. Yeah, it's more like, um, about it getting tiring, it's more, uh, it has nothing to do with it being visual novels, cause fucking, cause, <laughs> on my own time, I have been playing, um, whatchamacallit, I have been playing, uh, here, here's the moment, here's the moment of truth, guys, I've been playing, um, god, I fuck it, I hate I hate the person that got me into this series, but it's a good series. Data Live. I've been playing the Data Live visual novels. So, I will watch season one of the anime, play the first visual novel, then watch season two, then play the second visual novel, and now I watch season three and I'm on the third visual novel because that's how it goes in chronological order. And when you do those, it's kind of like, uh, 
you have to do all the routes and then after that you unlock a true route and then you do that so it's not that visual novels are the reason that makes it tiring it's the fact that I have to sit there and read them out loud and fuck up a million words that I don't know <laughs> and then also by nature I'm like it doesn't it doesn't sound like it but by nature I am a very quiet spoken person you can ask anybody I fucking know but like so whenever I'm doing like a four to six hour long stream uh, <laughs> like it really does a number on my throat right especially when you're just reading non-stop and it's like sometimes you're just like man I'm tired and I don't want to do it <laughs> like the biggest uh, on one of the Phoenix Wright streams I had to break it down into two parts on the channel uh, when I uploaded it there, but I think it was like overall like an eight hour stream of just like I think it was like the first Phoenix Wright game, or was it the second? I don't remember, but um, oh, good night, Ryan. Thanks for stopping by. Um, but like it <laughs> after that stream, it definitely did a number on me. I was like, I was like, I can't fucking, my throat is shot, it's, it's gone, can't do nothing. I was forgetting where I was going, but then I just remember I gotta blow up the bridge, got it. And one of these days, I do wanna, man, I really wanna, it's so bad, cause I, I had, I had the game since launch, it's like what? Four okay, years now? Dang, I'm off of E3. I just, I haven't played it, and I want to so bad. It doesn't take an engineer oh. to figure out how to blow up a bridge. Yeah, well, basically, when she's over the last I'll couple of months, by placing gonna... charges on all of the lower cleats. Once the structure destabilizes, those retainer rings on the upper cleat should pop right off. That should enable the world did go to shit. The world did go to shit. Which will bring I had to like, I paused for a moment reading that because like, the world went to she. I was like, huh? We need that yeah, but you're right. Did go to ship. It's terrible. I am, however, uh, I did find out today a good piece of news. I am, due to my job, I am eligible for getting the COVID vaccination. The bad part is... There won't be any vaccines until like 14 weeks from now, so fuck me, I guess. But that's nice to know that I can go and get the vaccine. I'm good for it. <laughs> I'll kill you for that. <laughs> I was trying to make the appointment for it today. Oh shit, Bentley. Wait, what? Am I not do- okay, there we go. I just didn't place them right. Don't get hit by the rock! There you go. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Good job, Bentley. He <laughs> said, so I wish I could get it. Oh man. It really I don't know too much about the COVID vaccine, but I guess they're having trouble with, um, with, like, just making it or keeping it stored or something. Because they go out, like, they go out real fast, so even, even after 14 weeks, or maybe beforehand, fucking, um, whenever appointments come available, I might not even be able to get in at that point either. Initiate phase two. I'll take care of Carmelita and the crowd. You handle the heavy lifting. And then I think you got to go back for like a second, do like, Miss like a second Fox, shot, like a couple of months later or something like about that. Time. So then, left. what about Just the appointments for those? Moment. Like it's just, like unfortunately, it's, unfortunately, it's all just a shit show, right?
gonna be so embarrassed if I fuck this up somehow. You look familiar to me. Are you in law enforcement? I often deal with police while on the job. Nice one, Sly. Dare I say, you are. You are one sly fox. Get it? Because I'm sly and she's a fox and we're, we're dancing. We're dancing, having a good old time. I almost forgot that one. <laughs> I almost forgot that button combination. I was about to fuck it up. John, he's like, damn, those people are fucking sexy. I'll watch him fuck. <laughs> On his freaky shit. Like his mouth's all open and shit, just drooling. Stop dancing now, Carmelita. God damn it. <laughs> Take it forever. I'm afraid I'm gonna fuck this up somehow. There we go. Tell me, stranger. Jesus. What's your name? Why ruin the moment? Huh? I I don't understand. The wings! What happened to the clockwork wings? What? How? Who could have what? Cooper! I love how like sour she got over it. He's like, why ruin the moment? She's like, what? I don't, what? I don't understand. What? <laughs> Tell me your name, bitch. <laughs> Look, Murray. You got it, Murray. I believe in you. Now I gotta defend you with the fucking shitty helicopter. Oh, fuck. I can't hit the guards. Oh, God. Now it's those guys. Oh, no. Oh, no, Murray. Murray, I'm sorry. Murray, I'm so sorry. Murray, I can't. Murray? I can't aim. It's so difficult. It's... Oh my god, it's harder than you think. This is tense. It is tense. Oh, fuck. Oh no, Murray! I got you. Believe in me as I believe in you. Wait, oh fuck, there they are. Anyone chasing you from behind, Bentley? Nope. You seem you seem like you're clear for the most part. Oh shit. Never mind. Never mind. I got gotcha. you. You leave my precious baby boy alone. Don't you dare hurt a non-existent hair on his head. Punch it. Good job, Cooper Squad. That fucking helicopter After is difficult to shoot. away with the clockwork wings, Carmelita blew her cover and started making arrests left and right. With his reputation in shambles, Rajan was forced to flee from his own party. He's now in hiding, somewhere deep in the jungle. The gang and I took a break and headed for Bollywood. It took some doing, but we eventually snuck Murray onto the set of a full-blown Indian musical. I was happy the guys got to unwind, but Rajan was still out there. And somehow, I knew things were about to get tough. Alright. Well, we did two episodes, 100% it, both of them, right? I believe so, right? Let me see that. One, 
Two. Cool. I think this is a great stopping point. So next time we head to Sly Cooper, we'll start with episode three. Do all that. Um, next stream, I'm gonna... I have to, like, re-put up the schedule. But next stream is gonna be Conception. Then after that, hopefully we get a chapter done of uh, Corpse Party. And then bring it back to Sly Cooper. Uh, what else is it that I wanted to say? I felt like there was something I wanted to say after this. I don't think... I don't think there's anything, right? I guess if Nintendo somehow surprises us with like a Zelda Direct, which is highly unlikely at this point in time, then I'll, you know, we'll, we'll come back and check that out. But other than that, I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else planned for the streams or, you know, the YouTube channel or stuff like that. Um, besides just like uploading the stuff that I need to upload. So, I think that's it. I think that think this is a great stopping point. So, thank you to everyone who came and watched live tonight. I greatly appreciate it. You mean a lot to me. And it's fun just hanging out and talking with you guys. And to those watching the VODs, thank you as well. And those on YouTube, I appreciate you as well. I love you all. You're great. You're worth it. Right? <laughs> um... For those on YouTube, I fucking hate saying this every time. Those on YouTube, if you're not subscribed, think about it, all that jazz, like, comment, whatever, who cares? I don't. I really don't. At the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything. Well, can't say it doesn't mean anything, but you know. YouTube's full of shit, as they say. But, that is it for tonight. Once again, thank you to you all. And I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and please do take care.